are live at Coletco for tonight's Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, welcome. This is Thursday night, uh, December 29th. We are about to have the greatest live sale ever. I say that every night, so high expectations. Let me get it shared all in the appropriate places, as in the group. Also need to copy the link. Copy. Let me post it here. And let me go over here to our main page and also post it on there. So uh, Thursday night, we've got more on. I worked last night making more on sale crates for y'all. Uh, we got new new vinyl. We have uh, box sets on sale. That's going to be kind of one of our features tonight and some box sets we've never shown before, but I'll still make you a deal on them. But I kind of hate to discount something. Once again, we've never really shown, but we will. Of course, I think we got a few new Funkos. We're always getting Funkos in. I order that just about uh, as often as uh, do anything else. Let me comment here. Let me delete that. Oh, I thought that's where I posted it in the group. Okay, give me a second. Aha, there we go. Now. Story. Get our YouTube link copied. Oh, we're almost there. Share, copy. All right, I've got it shared everywhere. Did I miss something about box sets? What happened? <laughs> Let's see, uh, restream chat. All right. Okay, so uh, here's the thumbnail image. ACDC's The Razor's Edge. If anybody wants one, I have four copies left before I put them over here back in the ACDC bin. They are $31.99. Has their hit song, Thunderstruck, first track. Side one, side A. ACDC's The Razor's Edge. If anybody wants a copy of that, it's probably our best-selling ACDC album right next to Back in Black, and those are $31.99, The Razor's Edge. You've been thunderstruck. Money Talks is a good one, too. $31.99 for ACDC's The Razor's Edge. All right, let's start as we always do. Our first crate of the night will be our newest, newest new vinyl. Even though that's just what I took off the table, that was new vinyl from last night. We're going to go through a bin of stuff literally unboxed for today. A couple restocks in here. Uh, not a lot of new releases this week. Uh, the week after Christmas, it's really tough for them to get stuff out. Plus, there's been shipping problems, weather, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but pretty much, though, historically, from what I've seen since I've been doing this, they don't put out a lot of new material the week after uh, Christmas. Uh, they just. Uh, they just don't do that. So first sale of the night goes to Bubby Mercer. He wants ACDC's The Razor's Edge. That's why I use records like this for our thumbnail. Everybody can always use a copy of that. I probably should show it every night. $31.99. If anybody else wants one, Bubby, that one goes to you. New arrivals. New arrivals. There's definitely a record. This one right here that we will need a waiting list for. Luckily, I already have some copies on the way. So, first record is Iron Maiden Peace of Mind. Restock of this, gatefold, remaster, Iron Maiden Peace of Mind, $38.99. We have two of those. Here's the record I was just referencing. Pearl Jam Versus, $34.99, gatefold, remaster for Pearl Jam Versus. I've got one in my hand. I've got more on the way, but this was one that they finally just put back in stock. Pearl Jam's second album versus $34.99. So the waiting list will be short, 
lived because we're getting, I think, another 10 or so that should be delivered here tomorrow. So you can go ahead and claim one and pretty much know, unless we sell a bunch of them here in the next 30 seconds, that you're going to be getting one this week. So that one goes to Belinda Dobb unless some crazy catastrophe happens. That one goes to Belinda Dobb. Joe Valentine, you will be first on the waiting list. Pearl Jam versus. So uh, another big grunge album. Nirvana Unplugged. I walked by our Nirvana bin and I flipped through it and I was like, holy cow, we don't have any Unplugged. We sold a ton of them during Christmas. Nirvana Unplugged. This is the single LP release. $36.99 for Nirvana Unplugged. Sell one to Amy Reed. This is like some of our best sellers that we were out of stock of. Nirvana. Mark Barbosa also wants on that Pearl Jam waiting list. And I have one Nirvana left in my hand. Versus is $34.99, Jamie. $34.99 for Pearl Jam Versus. I probably should use that for our thumbnail. $34.99 for Versus. Here's an interesting thing that we got back in stock because I thought they had dis they had canceled the SKU. It's Samantha Fish Live, $33.99 on pink vinyl. Uh, one of my distributors uh, pulled this out of their catalog. Done by Cleopatra, but I think that's now an out of production. Not really even out of print, but like they're done making them. Limited edition pink vinyl, Samantha Fish Live. Mike Vandergitz wants one of those. I actually have one left and sell one to Debbie Blair. So one to Mike Vandergis and one to Debbie Blair. It's weird we got those back in. Very strange. Led Zeppelin II is $31.99. Uh, Kenny Heathcock, I've, you are the only one we have a waiting list for tonight. Kenny Heathcock, I've got you down for Led Zeppelin II. Um, once again, a record we should never be out of stock of. This is the 180 gram Jimmy Page remaster. I love how it says includes Ho La La Love and Ramble On. While those are probably the two biggest songs off the album, there are, uh, it's one of those you listen to from beginning to end. $31.99 for Led Zeppelin II. I hope everybody watching, so far we've got 116 viewers. I hope all 116 of you have this on your shelf. If you don't, you need to change that right now. Jamie Butler also wants on the Pearl Jam versus waiting list. Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree. We got a restock of this, a uh, couple of them. I had back order from a long time ago. $49.99. We sold both of them. Here's an extra one. Fallout Boy. Those are $49.99. From Under the Cork Tree is what they call that one. And because I had so many back ordered, I got even two more. Blink-182, Enemas of the State. I got two more of those. Blink-182, Enema of the state. So there's another two from another place, $36.99. And I think up until just like two days ago when all these finally got shipped, this was a pricey record. Morgan Wallen, If I Know Me. This is $29.99. $29.99. Morgan Wallen, If I Know Me. $29.99. I've got five of those back in stock. And probably next in the one of the best-selling country and folk Americana categories is this album right here, Tyler Childers Purgatory, $26.99. So I was kind of worried about Red Barn because we, uh, we couldn't get that anymore. And uh, these were in stock, so I grabbed another 20 Purgatories. So Purgatory is in stock. I've got them. They're $26.99. I may go ahead and order like a bunch of them just in case, but I have a feeling they're going to keep that one in stock or in print. I just hope they're not pulling Red Barn and they're doing something else with it. All right, so uh, Morgan Wallens, we got one for Sherry, Marty, and Gabe. Those are Morgans, Morgans, and Morgans. Morgan and Morgan. Cody Chandler on a Tyler Childers. So is Debbie Blair and Jeremy Rourke. All three of those people for a Tyler Childers purgatory. Three Tylers and three Morgans. I've got plenty more. This is a new release. Um... Uh, even though this is a live FM broadcast, this may be an official release. Uh, I, it's kind of weird because from based on just where it came from, um, the distributor I got this from, they never, ever have any unofficial. So I don't know that for certain, but this is a much different place than the parachute, where I get Parachute from, even though that's also a major record distributor for here on the East Coast. Um, I think this is official. But don't hold me to that because it doesn't look like it, but it's weird that they had it. The Cure from a Land Down Under, live in Sydney, Australia. 
August 17th, 1981, FM broadcast. This was uh, big on their pre-order list, too. A lot of demand for that. So that was up there near the top of bestsellers. I think this is technically a new release. This is one of the few new releases for this week. The tracks are The Holy Hour, In Your House, M, Primary, Other Voices, Jumping Someone Else's Train, Another Journey by Train, Killing an Arab, Charlotte Sometimes, Killing an Arab, Encore, and Forever Fades Out. That is $33.99. Mike Massey wants one. I think we got four more of those left. Uh, restock of Fleetwood Mac self-titled. This one's pretty interesting. It's got two hop stickers on it. The machine labeled that one twice. Fleetwood Mac, 1975, breakout smash release. $31.99 for Fleetwood Mac self-titled. Chris Kirkley wants a cure from the Lound Down Under. I have three of those left. I got to put some Fleetwood Mac records back in our Fleetwood Mac bin, so maybe I can sell these tonight. If not, I definitely need them for the store. And another Blink-182 that hasn't been in stock in probably a year and a half. This one's called... What do you uh, see? I'm going to say that's... Cheshire Cat, or is that Cheshire Cat? I'm not for sure, but we haven't had that one in a long time. Blink-182 is $31.99, and I've got two of those. There were a lot of them in stock, so I don't know if this one was as big a demand as the other Blink-182 album, but if you don't have this one, I have them right now. These are both sold, Mike Massey and Jerry Stone. If anybody else wants a copy of that, let me know. I will need to order it for you. Also got a restock. Oh, this is actually for Troy Robinson, but I was going to show it. We can go ahead and tag it. Troy, if you're watching, your Dinah Ross, The Greatest, came in. This is an iconic collection of 2LP clear vinyl, all the biggest solo hits with the Supremes and with the Supremes. So this is like the best Dinah Ross collection you could get on clear vinyl. Those are $59.99. That is Troy Robinson. That was a special order. John Stites wants the first Blink-182 in of the state. That's sold to John Stites. I got more of those. And a restock of Band on the Run, and that is the limited edition white vinyl. McCartney has uh, all indie exclusives, all of his uh, solo and wing stuff through Capitol. They're all on colored vinyl. And, of course, Band on the Run and Wing's Greatest Hits, two of the best sellers. Uh, and I think they did Ram but it was short-lived because of, uh, I'm not for sure, but that's a very popular one too. White Vinyl, Band on the Run, it's also a remaster, $33.99. Of course, remastered at Abbey Road. Jason Kent wants a Blink Cheshire. Is that how you say that? Cheshire or Cheshire? Cheshire. Cheshire, Cheshire cat. Is that like the breed of it? <laughs> Cheshire. $31.99. William Condry on Purgatory. I don't want to get my animals uh, terminology. Last time I went down a portal with talking about animals, it was about the dash hound, and uh, we're not going there again. We're not, uh, I'm not going to start talking about cat breeds or dog breeds, uh, especially if I don't know how to pronounce them. So, uh, <laughs> Iron Maiden Somewhere in Time. Let's go through that one more time. Iron Maiden Somewhere in Time, $38.99. Nirvana Unplugged, $36.99. Led Zeppelin is $31.99. Uh, Fallout Boy, $49.99. This is Blink-182, $36.99. Morgan Wallen, two copies left, $29.99. Tyler Childers is $26.99. Did I pull one of those for William? I did? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Belinda Dobb wants Wings, Band on the Run. Siamese Cat. Thank you. <laughs> the Cure from a Lamb Down Under, $33.99, and Fleetwood Mac, self-titled. I just know this, I'm highly allergic to cats. The last time I was around a cat, well, Seth's house for their Christmas party, they have to put them up. But uh, at the Atlanta Collection, uh, Steve Cole, he will let you know he has some cats. <laughs> and, uh, oh my gosh, I was miserable that day because uh, he had that carpeted floor and we were moving those records, plus I was sick to begin with, and then I had a allergic reaction because of his cats. Um, don't bring cats around me. Morgan Wallen sold to Justin. I'm going to make an attempt at this one. Schrumpfer. Justin may be a first-time buyer with us. Justin, if you're a first-time buyer, please let me know. If you're a first-time buyer, uh, 
thank you and welcome. I think you are, because it's the first time I think I've said your name. I hope I didn't butcher it too bad. I'm not good with names, as you will learn very quickly. If I can't say it, uh, I will uh, I will abbreviate it. I may start calling you Justin S. But um, it also speeds up the show. Please make sure you message our page. Thank you and welcome. We need a message from you in our Facebook Facebook inbox with your mailing address and your email address. Mailing address and email address. So thank you. We will invoice you on Monday. In the meantime, you can buy the rest of tonight and tomorrow night, $7 unlimited shipping. And that's a week-to-week charge for $7. Um, okay, so uh, Justin, got Morgan Wallen, John Stevens on Cure. The Shizu. Whew, I don't try saying that one too often at, at all. Uh, Cheshire Cat, like in Alice in Wonderland. Uh, 13 cats. Oh my gosh. I, I love cats. I just, I'm allergic to them. We had one for a while. It's an allergy I developed later in life. Uh, very, it's very strange. And the last Morgan Wallen goes to Marty Kramer. We sold out of several things already tonight that I've got to restock and take waiting list on. I'll probably, if we want to keep these handy, I need to show a lot of these again later so we can take waiting list. So, so, Justin, I hope you heard the instructions. Please confirm that you did. We also send you a message, but if you could just be in our inbox, we will invoice you on Monday for that. $7 unlimited shipping. So, we have Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac, The Cure, The Cure, Tyler Childers back in stock, last copy in here of Blink-182, File Out Boy, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, and Iron Maiden. All right, let's start. Uh, we have auctions. I've got to bring a few things up here. I'll go back through some new vinyl in just a second, but last night I spent most of the night and into the morning um, making more on-sale crates for y'all. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty intense. We're gonna start with a crate of $19.99 on sale. We probably will sell everything in here once again. Um, there's a couple things I'm gonna pull out and auction. Let me do a couple checking on some things. I got to go through these. Oh, yeah. So this crate is actually going to start with some new uh, vinyl. Well, actually, the first record's OG because I listened to it again because there's a couple songs that I like that I didn't have in my library. So let's get started with this one. The Tyler Childers is 60. Uh, excuse me. The, uh, the new Tyler Childers, Eric Wayne, um, let me actually show that because I'd like to sell since we're doing box sets tonight. I think during Christmas I knocked a few dollars off this one and we sold several. I don't have many left. Um, this is Tyler Childers, Can I Take My Hounds to Heaven? I've got a handful left if anybody wants them for $59.99. They were originally $64.99. I've got I got five, six, I can't really count them all, but six or seven maybe left. If anybody wants that one, I'll do those for $59.99. Five dollars off, $59.99. That's what I've got right here. So, uh, Lisa Montgomery wants one. Eric Wayne, if you want one, let me know. Um, and then we've got uh, Nathan Myers on Tyler Childers. These are $59.99. Uh, and then if anybody wants purgatory, not to get confused, if you want this one, just please comment purgatory. But the one we just got back in stock here is $26.99, the new one for tonight. I don't have any autographs ready. No, um, they're buried. Uh, I text John, who works here. He's on vacation this week. And I said, where are those? He kind of told me the proximity. Tonight, I've got to go dig them out. I worked last night. Instead of digging for those, I worked on making more on-sale crates, which took hours. Okay. First crate here. Everything in here is $19.99. I also need to find our newest Japanese stuff. Is that still in the office? And there may be a crate of Japanese stuff. Yes. Um, that sticker that's still in the office. When Tanner brings that up here, we will start uh, Japanese auctions. In the meantime, I'll start this uh, White Album I pulled out. This is, um, I just found this last night. It was in a bin of stuff that didn't sell. This is the Beatles White Album on the Purple Capital label. Let me get my camera a little bit 
situated a bit different. There we go. Uh, the Beatles White Album, Purple Capital Label, which I think uh, these Purple Capital Labels are pretty good sound impressings. This is about EX Plus. EX, EX Plus. Um, we've got uh, the poster and all four photos. The poster and all four photos. So this is complete with all the inserts. There's the poster, and somewhere down in here are the inserts. There they are. Hey, they're still perforated. All right, so though, uh, that's going to be a $35 start. Nice vintage copy of the White Album. It's not embossed. It's not serial numbered, but uh, the Beatles White Album, that's a $35 start. That's our first auction of the night. Okay, Eric passes on the Tyler Childers, but we did sell a couple. First on sale crate of the night, $19.99. First on sale crate. Oh, I think they're... There may be a different one where they're all stickered. I may be wrong, though. I think there's another one back there where they're stickered. That's one that was just unboxed. Okay. The best of Pro Call Harem. This is $19.99. I actually listened to this. This is uh, really good. It's a gatefold. It's a foil cover. It's got some... Uh, it's got some writing here on the, in the middle of the galaxy, Maryland. But uh, I figured I'd mark this $5 off and somebody may want it. That's the best of Pro Call Harem. I listened to that last night. Very good. There's a couple of those songs on there that I had to listen to again because I was like, some of those are, I didn't have in my, uh, my iTunes discography. Sell that to Nathan Myers, $19.99. Uh, William Condry also wants a Tyler Childers Hounds Go to Heaven. That is $59.99. And William, uh, I know you're new. You, you were watching um, the other night. I think you've already messaged us, but if you haven't, please do that again. There's Tyler Childers. Can I take my Hounds to Heaven? That's so to you, $59.99. If anybody else wants a copy, I'm going to keep those close. Okay, so that was one I just listened to. I think now we're getting truly into the major on-sale stuff. And there's also some stuff in here that I have never put out before, like this. Santana, I don't even have it in a sleeve yet. I did clean it and check it. Viva Santana, 1999. I think this is a compilation. Uh, Gypsy, Black Magic, Black Magic Woman. Uh, yeah, there's some hits on here. So, oh, you'll come over. Viva Santana, 1999. Everything in here is 1999. Dio, live in Santa Monica. This is something else I never have put out. Limited edition, 180 gram colored vinyl with insert. That is an unofficial live Dio concert from 1983. Rob Scheffler, first to Santana. We need to put that in a sleeve, but that's 1999. Julie, you were second. Carol, you were third. Courtney was fourth. Let me get my phone over here. I'm definitely going to need it tonight. Calvin Ward was first on Dio. Marco, you were second. Somebody the other night asked for Dio. Uh, I kind of restocked some Black Sabbath stuff last night. I put on a huge order for Black Sabbath because our bins were getting pretty thin. But... Uh, I'm going to go through what Dio we have in stock. Richard, you were third on Dio. Iggy Pop, free. Here's another one. I don't think I ever really have put this out for sale yet. 1999, 180 gram, gatefold, new. Uh, it is opened. It is near mint from 2019. Iggy Pop, free. That is 1999. ACDC, power up, new and sealed. This is some, I think this is some of the last stuff from the Memphis collection. Some of the very last stuff from that Memphis collection I hadn't got to yet. ACDC Power Up, that is new and sealed. The next record is also ACDC, so let me skip that and go to Pink Floyd, Adam Hartmother. This is opened, it's near mint, 180 gram, remastered Pink Floyd, Adam Hartmother. Rob Scheffler, first to ACDC. Greg, you were second. Pink Floyd is 1999, let me skip that one and that one, and let me show Alice Cooper's greatest hits. 180 gram, black vinyl. It is near mint. Is this Friday music? It is Friday music, but it's actually on black vinyl, which is uncommon because usually they do colored vinyl on everything. Alice Cooper's Grace Hits. That's a 180 gram remaster. First to Pink Floyd is Wolf's Council. Uh, no, R.M. Lazelle. Hold on a second. Rob Scheffler got ACDC. Greg Hagewood, ACDC. R.M. Lazelle, Pink Floyd. Wolf's Council was second. Clay Moore, you were third. Eric Wayne on DC. I bet he meant AC. Is that right? Uh, 
Eric Wayne. If that's not right, uh, Alice goes to Kathy. But I think uh, Eric got Alice Cooper. Let me know on that, Eric. The other ACDC, stiff upper lip. This one, yeah. Well, it has a very, very light spine crackle right up here. $19.99 for ACDC. That one sold to Calvin Ward. The other Pink Floyd is Wish You Were Here. That is opened. It's been used, but it is near mint. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. That is $19.99. Uh, okay, first of the ACDC was Calvin. John, you were next. Then David. Then Brent. Then Richard. And first of this Pink Floyd was Jesse Hood. Then Kevin. Then Ted. Then Arm Lazelle. Then Mike. And other people next on ACDC and Wish You Were Here. I told y'all this was a good first crate. The only thing left so far is Iggy Pop Free. Also back here, I've got a Beatles White Album up for auction. It's a Purple Capital label pressing. It's about EX condition. It's got the photos and the poster with it. $35 start. $35 start on that. The Beatles White Album. The Ramones, Road to Ruin, 1999 on that. New and sealed. New and sealed, 1999. The Ramones, Road to Ruin. Legend, The Best of Bob Marley, New and Sealed, 1999. And Slipknot, this is actually the black vinyl pressing, I think, from 2020. So they pressed Slipknot on black vinyl in 2020 as like a repress, reissue. And then they pressed them here, you know, within the last year on, within this year, uh, two years later on that colored vinyl. So this is uh, 1999. That's the black vinyl. Okay, first of the Ramones was uh, R.A.M. That was Ted Mindpiece. He's first on the Ramones. John Sheehan, you were second. Robbie, third. Uh, Patrick Carter, first on Slipknot. Patrick, uh, have you purchased from us before? Let me know if you haven't, or let me know if you have. But I don't think you have, and I'll give you first-time buyer instructions unless you've already heard those. Okay, he has, but it's been earlier this year. Well, Patrick knows what to do then. Thank you, Patrick. Welcome back. And Mike Vandergentz wants Bob Marley. Uh, Mike Vandergentz first of that. So there's a lot of people, as you see, are uh, that buy from us all the time, and I don't even think anything about it. But sometimes I see a name maybe that I hadn't seen in a while, and I'll have to refresh my memory. Richard Davis, you were second on Bob Marley. John Sheehan, you were second on Slipknot. Jeannie Pinnell's in on the Beatles at 35. And Patrice has purchased before. Thank you. This is Santana 4. The first time... What's this say? Uh, Santana 4. I, the hop sticker is kind of covered up. The original Santana. Raleigh, Sean, Sheev. 1999. That is new and sealed. New and sealed. Uh, the Ramones. This is... This was a record store day exclusive. I really don't know what it is. Uh, Sun Dragon Sessions, 1999. It was 24.99 on Record Store Day. That is also new and sealed. Uh, John Sheehan first on that Ramones. Now I think we're getting into some of the vintage OG stuff that I pulled from some crates last night. By the way, Final Call on the Beatles White Album. Jeannie Pinnell has that for 35. Heck of a price. Going twice, going three times. John got the Ramones. Richard and Nathan was next. The first great rock festivals of the 70s, 1999. Half off. This is a compilation of uh, tracks from Isle of Wight Festival and Atlanta Pop. Everybody from Hendrix to Miles Davis, 10 Years After, and the Almond Brothers, and everybody in between. That is just 1999. Festival is sold to Mike Vandergist. John Stevens was second, Stacy next. So everything in here is probably half off or better. David Schroeder's at 40 on the Beatles. I was just about to sell that because, uh, is this the same one? Okay. Or is this a different one? No. It, was there another bin of uh, Japanese vinyl back there? There should be at least one more. If not, then I'm crazy. But I think there's another bin of Japanese vinyl back there. Um, so David Schroeder's at 40 on the Beatles. Uh, No, that's uh, probably this one right here. Mike Cochran wants Santana. That was right before. So, yeah, Mike Cochran on Santana. Then Mike Vandergitz got the festival. So, Mike Cochran got this one right here. I just over. I just now seen that. Festival, festival, festival. David Shoulders at 40 on the Beatles. K 
Cameron Nance, you were second on that. And Rich Group, uh, you were second on Santana. All right, we have Yes, Yes Songs. Yes, Yes Songs. Half off, triple LP, live from, well, I don't know where it's from, but it's a live Yes concert, 1999. Uh, the Eagles on the border, this is EX at $32.99, and it's now $19.99. This was originally $32.99, EX copy of Eagles on the border, $19.99, and MC5, MC5, this is a VG minus, and it's the 1969 censored version. This is censored. Uh, the vinyl's VG minus. It is in 69 Presto of MC5. 1999 on that. Gary Hackett wants yes, yes songs. So the Eagles was 1999. MC5 is 1999. The Beatles, here's another one of these. By the way, anybody who requested a Japanese copy last night, I hadn't got those sorted yet. I'm going to work on that tonight. This is a U.S. press in VG Plus condition. It is on the Apple label. $19.99 for the Beatles. And this is the VG Plus copy. It's a U.S. press. That's sold to John Sheehan. Genie is out on the Beatles' White Album. Speaking of the Beatles, David Schroeder's at $45 on the Beatles' White Album. That's going twice, going three times to David. The Almond Brothers Band, Brothers and Sisters. VG Plus on the vinyl. Now, $19.99. Almond Brothers, Brothers and Sisters. No other crate? Okay. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2. Half off at $19.99. Very nice copy. Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2. Volume 2. $19.99 on that. We have Moth the Hoople, Mad Shadows. $19.99. If you're just joining us, we're in our first on-sale vintage crate. There is also some new vinyl in here. Everything is $19.99, including this Japanese press of John Lennon Walls and Bridges. I think, I don't know where this came from. We didn't get this one from, imported from Japan, but this is a Japanese press of John Lennon's Walls and Bridges. It's near mint Japanese quality, $19.99. Wayne Titsworth got Mott the Hoople. So we have auctions tonight. Um, I guess I'll price these on the fly. I could swore there was another one ready. I got some box sets. I got new box sets to show you. Maybe I can work on the price a little, and then I've got some definitely that will be on sale. So here's what's left out of the first 1999 crate. John Lennon, Walls and Bridges, Japanese press. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2, really nice copy. The Almond Brothers, surprisingly still here. Got some classic tracks on it. Uh, MC5, Eagles on the Border, and Iggy Pop Free. Those are all 1999. 1999. Those are on sale records. All right, let's go ahead and sell the Beatles to David Schroeder for $45. First empty crate of the night. I like that. This first box set, I had this has been behind the counter because I never did price it, but we've had it before. This is $109.99, $109.99. This is Live Grunge, Live Grunge, which is Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and Stone Temple Pilots. Five records on, uh, I think they're colored vinyl. They all have uh, unique inner sleeves printed, and it should be hand numbered on the back. It is. This is number 94. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically five live concerts. Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots, and Pearl Jam. That is $109.99. I've sold a bunch of those. I've sold a bunch of those. I just hadn't shown that one. It's been behind the back in one of those random, random crates we have. Okay, first, uh, I got another $19.99 crate. Let's do this $14.99 crate. Yeah, this is a, let me make sure. Yeah, this is going to be a $14.99 crate. Uh, well, I don't think anybody ordered any, so just, we'll take a, I still want a roll of them, though. Yeah, 25. Um, okay. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine crate. Thank you. Uh, $1.99 crate. There is no $1.99 crates. Let's see. Let's, I've got a whole bin of Japanese stuff here. Wow, there's some good stuff in here. Um... 
Uh, Warren Wilkie says this, Shh, Liam Boone's YouTube channel. Okay. I will tell, is this, is this Warren's son? It looks like it. I can't tell from the picture. Are you Warren's son, Liam? ELO's greatest hits. First Japanese auction. This is really cool. Should I keep this? Probably. There's the Japanese insert. This is the inner sleeve. And here is the pristine Japanese vinyl. I don't know if I've had this one before as complete and nice. If I have, I don't remember. And it's got this really cool obi. ELO's greatest hits. $45 start, ELO's greatest hits. That's really nice and clean and pretty. Did I miss something before that? Floyd, the almonds was $19.99, brothers and sisters, VG+. Plus. Wayne, let me check on the John Lennon. And Justin wants the Eagles if it's still available. It is. Liam, I will tell everybody who you are. That's, uh, if I think, yeah, okay, Warren Wilkie. I, I'm, I'm getting the connection now. Uh, Liam is a customer of ours. He is, I forgot what grade he's in. I will tell you this. He's very young to be interested in the music that we're buying and selling here every night, especially the Beatles. He's a big Beatles fan. Liam, I'll have to check out your YouTube channel myself, but I will tell everybody to go check you out if they're on YouTube right now. It looks like he's got maybe a YouTube channel that he's got dedicated to records, gaming, and cars. So I will have to go check that out myself. But uh, he came in here. And me and him were intelligently discussing the Beatles. And I think a lot of y'all consider me young. He's probably more than half my age. So, pretty cool. That's what we need. Justin, I've got you down for the Eagles. And Floyd Furman, I've got you down for the Almond Brothers. There's, uh, if we don't have people like Liam's age, uh, age interested in the Beatles, then all hope is lost. Everything in here is $14.99. $14.99. Uh, cheap Trick in color. I've went through and hand-selected some more on-sale records. Uh, this was some stuff that was up front in crates. I think it's pretty recent records. Everything in here is $14.99. At minimum, it's 20% off. There's a lot of stuff in here that's half off or more. Cheap Trick in color is $14.99. We're going to go through these, and I hope to see the crate empty. Pat Metheny Group Travels, recorded in concert, 2LP, $14.99. Um, we have Mark Barbosa, first on Cheap Trick. The Almond Brothers and the Eagles, by the way, was $19.99. Cheap Trick is $14.99. That's the first $14.99 record. Eurythmics, We Two Are One, that is $14.99. Gold Stamp Promo, Chris Gleason on Pat Metheny Group. David Schroeder, you were next on Cheap Trick, and Jamie Butler, you were third. Mike Nesbeth presents the Wichita Train Whistle Sings, or Mike Nesbeth Sings the Wichita, Wichita Train Whistle, however you read that. That is a sealed copy, half off at $14.99. Earth, Wind, and Fire Gratitude. I saw this, and I thought it was a studio album. And then I started looking at the tracks. Shining Star, September. This is either a live Earth, Wind, and Fire, or it's a greatest hits. And I think it's a hits, because it's called Gratitude. So, Earth, Wind, and Fire compilation, including some of their biggest songs, that is $14.99. John Young on Nesbeth and Donnie Moore on Earth, Wind, and Fire. Those are sold and sold. Tales from Topographic Oceans, yes, it's a really nice copy. Just $14.99 now. Big markdown on that one. Jefferson Starship is sealed. Nuclear Furniture, that was sealed. That is now just $14.99. Sealed copy with... Hype sticker. Bob Seeger, Against the Wind, in shrink wrap, also with hype sticker, includes Hit Fire Lake. That is half off at $14.99. Jamie Butler wants Yes, Tales from Topographic Oceans. Sell that to Jamie Butler. And 1969. I've recently showed this. This is a uh, Time Life Music compilation. Hits from 1969. It is sealed. 2LP, never been opened. That is now $14.99. The Best of Sam and Dave. This is a super series, which means it's a repress, still a vintage copy, 
but more importantly, it's in near mint condition in shrink wrap, $14.99. Jeff McMaster takes 1969. Bill was second. Brent was third. The cars, Panorama, gold stamp promo and promo label. It's not a white label, but it says for promotion use only. Promo copy of the cars, Panorama, also near mint. Neil Young, landing on water. Really nice copy here. Yeah, looks unplayed. $14.99 and close encounters of the third kind. I've got this more than half off. Original inner sleeve, uh, vinyl's really clean, and it includes the bonus 45, now just $14.99. John Williams, it looks a lot better outside of that jacket. Has a little bit of sticker residue. I think you could work on that and get it off, but that's $14.99. It includes the bonus 45. Helix, no rest for the wicked in shrink wrap. Helix is now $14.99, and Billy Squire, signs of life, in shrink wrap, $14.99. All right, Jeff McMaster got $69. Bill, Brent, Richard, Michael Swanger, all on Sam and Dave. Michael uh, Swanger on Sam and Dave. Uh, Wayne Titsworth on Cars. And uh, Jamie, you were second on Cars. Alice Lowry, first to Close Encounters. Joe Valentin on Neil Young. Alan Jonathan on Helix. Jamie Butler, second on Helix, and Donnie Moore, first on Billy. Awesome bin so far. These are hand-picked Chad on sale records. It takes a long time. I got to flip through like, so what I do is I stack up crates, and I've got 5, 7, 9, 14, and 19.99. And so I'm flipping through dozens and dozens of crates, and then I'll go back through them, then I'll condense. So I'll pick up a record, and I'm like, hmm, this has been here not too long, but I would like to send it home from somebody. I'm going to make it half off, and I stick it in a $14.99 crate. Then when I get one $14.99 crate full, I move it to the bottom, I put an empty one on top, and I fill it back up again. So I keep constantly going back through crates until I get these full, and uh, we've done this four nights in a row now. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. So Alice Lowry wants Bob Seeger. Sell that to Alice Lowry. This is all $14.99 stuff. Yes. Great records. Great prices. The Beach Boys Endless Summer. For me, as an owner of a retail store, I look at a record and I'm like, hmm, this didn't sell. That means one or two reasons. I didn't show it to the right audience or I need to mark it down. And nine times out of 10 in retail, you have to mark it down. So that's what we do to sell stuff. The Beach Boys Endless Summer. I think this is a, yeah, this is a very clean OG copy and it may even, it's awfully heavy and it has the poster has the airplane poster in it. $14.99 for the Beach Boys. Yes, Yesterdays. That's a compilation of some of their early music. I think they put that out after Fragile came out and they kind of, their name started getting a little bit bigger. And the Police Ghost in the Machine. The Police Ghost in the Machine. That is $10 off at $14.99. Culture Club, color by numbers. There was somebody wanting a Japanese press of this last night. This is a nice U.S. press, Karma Chameleon. Yeah, looks near me at $14.99 on that. The Pretenders Learning to Crawl, $14.99. I'm back on the chain gang. Well, her voice, wow, $14.99, back on the chain gang. John Cougar Mellencamp, uh-huh. That is $14.99, and Katrina and the Waves, Walking on Sunshine, hit song. That's the first track on side B, $14.99. And the Guess Who Super Pack. It looks like it's early Guess Who Tracks, shaking all over, tossing and turning. Uh, that's a 2LP compilation, $14.99. Uh, next new comment, Alex Roman on the Beach Boys. Sell that to Alex Roman. Wayne Carr got Ghost in the Machine by Police. Jeffrey Walker on Culture Club. Uh, Chad's a vinyl back sorter, sung to Paperback Writer. I probably can recite you the lyrics to Paperback Writer. If I had to do it right here on the spot, I'd probably mess up, but I probably could do that. Uh, Doctors, Ebo, you were second on the police. Uh, Wayne Carr got that right before you. Clubstone, you were third. Donnie Moore, first to Katrina and the Waves. And Justin, you were second on the Beach Boys. We have Guess Who, so does Scott Smith. All right. I think we're caught up so far. So the only thing in that batch still left is the Pretenders, John Cougar, and yes. Wow. I encourage nobody to buy this, but if you want to, you can buy it for $45. That is ELO's Greatest Hits. No bid. Japanese pressing pristine with Obi. 
Wow, I should have showed that one more time. Sweet talking woman, telephone line, strange magic, Mr. Blue Sky. It's, uh, evil woman's on here, I'm, I'm almost positive. Yeah, evil woman, living thing. Can't get it out of my head. Showdown, turn to stone. $45 buy now on ELO's Greatest Hits. Also, I see it right here in front of me. Wayne asked if the John Lennon had any of the inserts. Let me check that right quick for Wayne. This is a Japanese press of walls and bridges. We got marked down to $19.99. It is near mint. Listen to this ad, walls and bridges, whatever gets you through the night. Yep, there's a Japanese insert and ad, and this has a two-page flip insert, and it has the original inner sleeve. So everything looks like it's there. If there's, there's something extra in there, I'm not aware of it. Wayne, that is $19.99. Brent said he'd give $39.99 for ELO. Well, I hate to... That's going to make my head hurt, but okay. $39.99. Elvis, Moody Blue, this is on blue vinyl. Now just $14.99. I think there's another crate back there that's already priced. But I'm pretty sure. I think it's just got buried, but I can keep selling out of that. I know what to do. Van Morrison, A Sense of Wonder. Van Morrison, A Sense of Wonder, $14.99. Let me get through another batch of stuff here. Let's see here. Yeah, so Elvis, uh, Van Morrison. A nice copy of Uriah Heap. It has a nice mirror on it. See? Look. You can see yourself. $14.99 on Uriah Heap. Is this a U.S. pressing? Sometimes the best looking ones. Boy, it's nice though. Yeah, it's U.S. $14.99 on that. The Steve Miller Bands, Your Saving Grace. That is now $14.99. Everything in here is $14.99. ZZ Top Afterburner, $14.99. George Thorogood, Bad to the Bone. George Thorogood. Bad to the Bone, $14.99. And the Jackson 5 Moving Violation, that's in Shrink Wrap, Motown, $19.75, $14.99. So Brent got the ELO for $39.99. Patrick Carter, first on Van Morrison. Sherry Darnell, you were second. Wayne says he would rather have John Lennon here. I'm going to lay it on top of this green crate and please put back Moth the Hoople. So that is sold to Wayne, and we'll put back Mott. Greg Preston was next on GT. Yeah, GT, that's George Thorogood. No, excuse me. Greg Preston was first to ZZ Top. Carol Puckett first to George Thorogood. Ed Nelson on Uriah Heap. Look at yourself, Eric. You were second to George Thorogood. Donnie third, Mark fourth, and Mark says he'll take Wayne's hoople for $14.99. Uh, $19.99 sounds a lot better since that's what I had it priced for. But Sonny Rollins is $14.99. The Blue Note reissue series. This is pretty much a Sonny Rollins 2LP compilation on Blue Note. $14.99 for that. And we have Fine Young Cannibals. It's also $14.99. Fine Young Cannibals. Aha, Scoundrel Days. Scoundrel Days. $14.99. And Chris Squire, the basis from Yes, Fish Out of Water, $14.99 for that. Mark, are you sure you don't want this for $19.99? This is not an easier one to get in their catalog. And we had it half off at $19.99. Um, Alan Jonathan on SR. That was Sonny Rollins to Alan Jonathan. Eric Wayne, you were second. Donnie Moore, uh, first on Fine Young Cannibals. Chris Kirkley on AHA. And Marty Kramer, you were second on Fine Young Cannibals. Still got Chris Squire. And Against All Odds, this was a nice copy. In Shrink Wrap with Hop Sticker, top copy of that one, $14.99. couple Elvis albums here. We have It Happened at the World's Fair, which I think is an OG mono press. Really nice condition, too, to be an OG mono and an Elvis album. And then we have Elvis Presley, Loving You. I think this is a repress, but it's on the orange label. It's in shrink, and it's near me. And that's an earlier album in his catalog. It's hard to find originals in good condition, so most people settle for those. Joe Valentine wants against all odds. Did he? He took away my Japanese stuff. He didn't want me to sell it. He probably hadn't gone through it yet to pick out what he was keeping. Okay. Well, wherever that crate of Japanese stuff is, I would gladly take it, Seth. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> what about the stuff that's priced?
let's see here. Um, we have, I don't have anything to auction right now. Okay, I'll come back to that. Cheap Trick at Budokan. This is a 180 gram press. This is $14.99. This is a 180 gram remastered. This is also Friday music. That is near mint. It's Cheap Trick 180 gram remastered from 2010. That is $14.99. Songs My Father Left Me, Hank Williams Jr. This is $14.99. And Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones. That is on limited edition green vinyl. That is sealed $14.99. $14.99. Elvis Bundle, Elvis Bundle. Um, let's see here. If you are, who asked first? Tracy and then Randall. Um, if you're buying both of these, I will take $25 for them. If Tracy passes, Randall, you can have them. Ted Mindpiece, you were first to the Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick is sold to Ted Mindpiece. Jeff second, Jamie third. Somebody put I want, but I can't even see their username. And then Carol, you were one, two, three. You were fourth on Cheap Trick. David fifth, Robbie sixth. Lisa Montgomery first on the Hank. Lisa Montgomery first on the Hanks. Scott Snee first on the Monkees. Uh, was there three? No, there was only two. Oh, well, there's another Elvis in here. Yeah. Uh, so, what'd I say? 25. Uh, 37 for all three of them. 37 for all three of them. Uh, Genesis Invisible Touch. It's also $14.99. Country Joe and the Fish. Electric Music for the Mind and Body. That was originally $34.99. Nice copy, too. Really nice copy. $14.99. Uh, Carol Seeley on Genesis. That sold to Carol Seeley. And Best of Booker T and the MGs. Half off at $14.99. We had another copy of this last night. I think this was originally at a radio station because of this big catalog and sticker on the cover. It's still in really nice condition, though. Robert Palmer Heavy Nova. This is $14.99. Robert Palmer Heavy Nova. And Bow Wow Wow, Sea Jungle, Sea Jungle, $14.99 on Bow Wow Wow, Sea Jungle, Sea Jungle. Let me fix my records here. I just accidentally showed this, so let me go ahead and show it. This is the Hard Ride soundtrack. It is sealed $14.99, the Hard Ride soundtrack, $14.99. Okay, so Carol Seeley, I think I've already pulled Genesis for somebody. Carol Seeley. Yeah, I've already pulled that. Randall, if uh, Tracy doesn't take the Elvis, I will check that for you. Clay, you were second on Genesis. Greg Rogers on CJ. That was Country Joe. That goes to Greg Rogers. Bill Toe on Joe. Joe, yeah, that was Country Joe. That's uh, Greg, you were, or Bill Toe, you were second. Lisa was first to Booker. Uh, Marty uh, Kramer on Robert Palmer. Tracy gets the three Elvis records for 37. Donnie Moore on Bow Wow Wow. And Randall, the World's Fair record is already sold. Tracy got all three of them. Emerson Lake and Palmer. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. That is $14.99. And Rod Stewart is sealed with hop sticker. Features the hit single, Love Touch. That is $14.99. And the Who, Who Are You? MCA Press, nice copy, $14.99 on that. So Rod Stewart sealed the who? War Deliver the Word. War Deliver the Word, $14.99. All right, we have our next Japanese auction. Led Zeppelin, the song remains the same. This is something that you need, okay? I'm telling you, you need this. Look how nice. Gatefold. The U.S. presses have the the U.S. presses have the book on the inside. I will show you how the Japanese comes. This is a seventy-five dollar start. Led Zeppelin song remains the same. Beautiful copy with Obi, nice cover. There's the book. The Japanese version came detached. There is the insert, and both LPs are near mint. I've said it a lot. This is a one of those Japanese pressings that's very good to have because the U.S. presses of this are always, for some reason, beat up, especially the cover. Nice copy of Song Remains the Same, $75. I have a feeling several people will be interested in that. Everything in here is 
All right, I'll keep going. Best of the Blues Brothers. I actually have two of them. They're pretty much identical. I think one may be a, one of them may be a different pressing. One may be in Italy. I think that one's an Italy pressing. Those are $14.99, Best of the Blues Brothers. Survivor, Eye of the Tiger, that's an EX condition. EX condition, that's now marked down to $14.99. Greatest Hits of the Outlaws, High Tides Forever, $14.99 on that. And Go West, $14.99. Nice copy of Go West, $14.99. Ed Nelson's at 75 on Led Zeppelin. Mark, you were second. John Sheehan, first of the Blues Brothers. And uh, Greg Rogers was second. Those are sold to John and sold to Greg. Jamie Butler first on Eye of the Tiger and Ed Nelson first on the Outlaws. Great records here. Uh, Jerry Harrison, Casual Gods. That is now $14.99. And Chic Your Booty, Frank Zappa, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Bob Dylan, New Morning, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. And Jethro Tull, Living in the Past, uh, that hardback top cover, VG Plus, that's now $14.99. Huey Lewis and the New Sports, $14.99. And Deep Purple Fireball, I think this is on the OG label. It is very clean, too, $14.99. Blues Outlaws, uh, we have Survivor. I've already pulled those. John Stevens on JH. Let's see. Yeah, that's Jerry Harrison. Okay, so John Stevens on Jerry Harrison. Brandon Jackson was first to Zappa. Then Ryan Anderson. Mark Shelton's at 80 on Led Zeppelin. Chris Kirkley got Go West. Robbie Reason over first on Huey Lewis. Floyd first on Deep Purple. Uh, Devin, you were second. Alice, you were second on Huey Lewis. Uh, Star Trek. This is now $14.99. Here for exciting all-new action Adventure Stories, Star Trek, $14.99. Jared, you were second on Jerry Harrison and a nice copy of McCartney's Red Rose Speedway. It is a gatefold with the pictures in there. That's now just $14.99. All right, update on Led Zeppelin. We have a 9.0 out of 10, possibly a 9.5. Led Zeppelin, song remains the same. That is Mark Shelton's for $80, going once, going twice. I'm going to go back through these titles one more time. Before I put this away, one more, one more reminder on the live grunge box set. That is $109.99. Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots, five LPs. Just a little over $20 per concert. That's going to be some good listening if anybody wants to buy that. I'm going to show the other box set. So I've got some that I'm going to mark down, and I've got some that... I don't think I've had before or I hadn't shown in a long time, especially to a lot of our new viewers. A lot of people seem to be interested in Genesis. This is actually, this has been sitting on our shelf or, yeah, in our back room in the original shipping box. This was a restock I never did bring out. Genesis, The Last Domino. This is a 4LP box set of Genesis. $99.99. 4 LPs. Great stuff. Made in Germany. So what they did, it's like a it's like a slipcase book, like binder, and then there's two individual jackets, and I think those have photos and maybe even some pictures with them. That's a 4LP set by Genesis, $99.99, and you will get it in the original shipping box, just like that. Genesis, The Last Domino, $99.99. Final call on Led Zeppelin. Uh, Mark Shelton's at $80. When are you going to send me a picture of those pants? Carol, I still got to open your message. Uh, I'll do that tonight. Send me another one, and I will send you a picture of Ron Wood's pants. Not a problem. If anybody's like, what are they talking about? We have a pair of Ron Wood's pants. They were stage-worn. Ron Wood, Rolling Stones, and it's in a shadow box with a autographed Rolling Stones poster. Eurythmics, we two are one. That is $14.99. Everything in here left is $14.99. Eurythmics with hop sticker. Jefferson Starship, that is sealed with hop sticker. Yes, yesterday's The Pretenders Learning to Crawl. John Cougar Mellencamp, uh-huh. Steve Miller Band, You're Saving Grace. Jackson 5, Moving Violation. Chris Squire, Fish Out of Water. The Hard Ride is sealed. Emerson Lake and Palmer. Rod Stewart is sealed with hop sticker. The Who, Who Are You? War, Deliver the Word. These are all $14.99 markdowns. 
Bob Dylan, New Morning, VG+. Jethro Tull, Living in the Past, VG+. Star Trek. And Paul McCartney, Red Rose Speedway. Big Barn Red's good. My Love is on here. And includes 12-page book. Uh, Carlene wants the Jackson 5. Anybody else before I change crates? And here's what's left from our 1999 crate. Mark Barbosa, I'm going to go ahead and sell you uh, Mata Hoople for $14.99. Bob Dylan is $19.99. I think I'm pretty firm on that for a 2LP hits from Dylan. So that was left, $19.99. Um, I'll mark these down one more time. MC5. It's a VG minus, $14.99, and Iggy Pop free. I'll mark that one down to $14.99. Last two, $14.99. Uh, Peter Genesis is $99.99. Scott Smith wants Paul McCartney. So let's do Mark um, that for $14.99. We'll do Red Rose Speedway for $14.99 to Scott Smith. Jack, you were second. Steve Gold said he'll take MC5 for $14.99. Jason said he would take Iggy for $14.99. Jeff, you were second. Bill, you were next on MC. Uh, let's see. D -d 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 -d. Buy one, get one on yesterday's Fish Out of Water. Not for sure what you mean. Uh, well, I think we're caught up now. Okay, final call on the Led Zeppelin record. I'm about to sell that. I think it's time we do a $9.99 crate. I also got more bundles. Uh, I'm over two on our box sets, unless Peter buys that one. Uh, I still got new ones to show, and then I'll, I've got some stuff that I may be a little bit, uh, you know. What is this one? Okay, I hadn't opened that one. Let me get one that's open. So I did a strict no cancellation uh, policy on this. Uh, this John Hughes box set. This was a pre-order, and because of the curse of Tool, Fear Inoculum, if we do a pre-order for box sets, we say no cancellations. Well, these two people, they canceled, but they're no longer buying from us. They, they like, canceled, and they just we never did hear from them again. So I've got two extra John Hughes box sets. Everybody else that ordered one did what they were supposed to do. They paid us, and we shipped it to them. This is called Life Moves Pretty Fast, the John Hughes mixtapes. This is a 6LP red vinyl. For those that own this, they will tell you, it's an awesome compilation. A lot of this music is very difficult to get on vinyl if it was ever released on vinyl. 73 songs, $179.99. It's on red vinyl. Life moves pretty fast, the John Hughes mixtapes. That's all tracks from John Hughes movies. $179.99. Six LPs on red vinyl. Six LPs on red vinyl. Make sure I didn't miss anything there. I'm uploading a video now. Liam, I will get you some viewers, I promise. I will get you some viewers on your YouTube. I'll share it in our group. We'll get you some YouTube subscribers for sure. $179.99. There are several people watching who bought one of those from us. That's uh, I have two extras for non-payments. Those are $179.99. So I got Genesis, uh, Genesis, John Hughes, and what else have I shown? Grunge. I'm going to keep all those together. Genesis, John Hughes, and Grunge. All right, there's the massive track list. Thank you, Craig. All right, uh, we can go ahead and sell Led Zeppelin to Mark Shelton. He got a nice copy of Song Remains the Same there for $80. Sell that to Mark Shelton for $80. All right, let me grab let me grab the $9.99 crate. I also have new arrivals, and uh, yeah, we're going to do nothing but on sale, new arrivals, and just good stuff. And then, if I run out of crates I've prepared, uh, I'll grab. I'll start grand grabbing random anything. We'll just start showing stuff. I think I've got enough though for tonight. A lot of stuff to show. Okay, everything in here. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is a nine ninety nine crate. Most of it's going to be minimum twenty five percent off. There's a lot. Most of the stuff in here is probably half off. Nine ninety nine crate. Uh, Uriah Heap, head first. It's also pretty packed, so the faster we can sell out of here, the easier it'll be for me to go through them. Uriah Heap, head first. We have Ian Hunter, live. Welcome to the club. 2LP live, $9.99. Dave Loggins, apprentice in a musical workshop, $9.99. 
Genesis Wind and Weathering, $9.99, and Chicago Transit Authority. It's a repress label. About a VG cover. Vinyl's pretty clean, though, $9.99. And Sticks, Pieces of Eight, $9.99. George Thorogood and the Destroyers, Move It On Over, $9.99. Blackfoot Strikes is $9.99. And Spooky Tooth, you broke my heart, so I busted your jaw. That is now $9.99. Do you have Genesis I Can't Dance? I do not have that in stock at the moment. That's one of those later albums by Genesis. I get that in occasionally. I think I have it back ordered right now. Um, Scott Gold, first to Ian Hunter. Ed Nelson, you were second. Jeremy was first to Genesis. That was uh, Wind and Weathering. Sell that to Jeremy. Next is Jamie Butler on Chicago. Ed Nelson was second. CTA, Chicago Transit Authority. John Sheehan on GT. That was George Thurgood. Jeremy on BF. That was Blackfoot. And then Devin Reese on ST, Spooky Tooth. And William, you were next on Blackfoot. Uh, this is the best of Jethro Tull. Half off record at $9.99. Teacher, Aqua Lung, Bungle in the Jungle, Locomotive Man, Fat Man, or excuse me, Locomotive Breath, Fat Man, Living in the Past. Nothing is easy. Great songs on there. $9.99. Mountain Climbing, that's half off at $9.99. Mississippi Queen. Squeeze, Sweets from a Stranger, that's now $9.99. And James Brown Gravity, Shrink Wrap, Shrink Wrap, and Hop Sticker, $9.99. The Great Ray Charles. This is a repress. It's a later label. And that's $9.99. Genesis box set is called The Last Domino, $99.99. Yes, The Last Domino, $99.99. Steve Zyman on Jethro Tull, $99.99. Genesis, The Last Domino. Steve Zyman on Jethro Tull, Roy Evans on James Brown, and Shauna Markham on Ray Charles. We have Junior Walker, Roadrunner. This is a reissue as in, I think, is it 180 gram? Uh, more like 140 gram, but that's a fairly new pressing of Junior Walk on the All-Stars Roadrunner, $9.99. Uh, Juan, you were second on Ray Charles. Junior Walker sold to Eric Wayne, Brent next, and then Ed Nelson. Joe Cocker is a VG Plus. Joe Cocker, Joe Cocker, VG Plus, $9.99. Yes, going for the one. Has one of my favorite Yes songs, Wondrous Stories. This is an OG because of the way the cover flips open. Nice copy, $9.99 for Yes, going for the one. All right. Um, so, Junior Walker, Junior Walker, Junior Walker, Junior Walker. Jay and the Techniques, Apple Peaches Pumpkin Pie. That's a VG Plus copy, $9.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer works, $9.99. Big markdown on that one. Getting Together, Tommy James and the Shondells, that's in shrink wrap, $9.99. And Pete Townsend, Scoop, $9.99. Waylon and Willie, World War II. Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson. The Hollies, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. Brownsville Station, School Punks, and The Romantics in Heat. That has their hit song, Talking in Your Sleep. Crocus the Blitz. Lover Boy, Keep It Up, and Uriah Heap, The Magician's Birthday. Uriah Heap, The Magician's Birthday. Do you have John Cougar, Mellencamp, American Fools? Not a copy I can go straight to. There may be one in one of these crates we do tonight, but as of right now, no, I don't have one where I can go straight to it. Uh, somebody, do you see that person who don't have a name, Tanner, just says, I? Do you see that? Yeah, There's somebody... Uh, we have a YouTube viewer, and we can't see your name. All we see is I. Yeah, I'm with Jake yeah. so whoever you are, I don't know if you can see that pop up, but you might want to go. I can't sell any something to a nameless person. You might need to go edit your YouTube handle right quick and then come back because right now you're an invisible person. It just says nothing. Uh, so I'll have to give JY to... David Schroeder. And if you're somebody, if you're a regular, you need to please let us know your name. So, uh, uh, okay, Chad, that's my mama whose name isn't showing up. Okay, well, I guess since we know who it is, I will go ahead and sell that to her. 
So let me know her name, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll know who it is from there based on the icon. So yeah, or we'll put it underneath your name. What was J Y anyway? I hadn't figured that out yet. Uh, J Y J maybe J in the techniques. Okay, yeah, we'll put her underneath David. Well, David was next anyway, wasn't he? Okay, so we'll put that under David's mom, Tom Yonowski on Tommy. Tommy James and the Shondells, that's sold to Tom. Tom gets Tommy. William Condry on Waylon and Willie. W.W. Scott Smith on TJ. Tommy James, Scott, you were second. Shauna, you were second to Waylon and Willie. And Ed Nelson on K.R.O. K.R.O. I feel like that's something I've already sold too. Uh, oh, Crocus. No, it isn't. Crocus, that's sold to Ed Nelson. Uh, Wolves Council, you were second. And I'll have her email you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And David on Jay and the Techniques. Okay, so David, we've got your mother down for that. We'll call her, we'll call her David's mom. And uh, what is the squeeze? The name of the squeeze title is called Sweets from a Stranger. That is now $9.99. Does Brownsville Station have smoking in the boys' room? No, that is not on this one. No. Okay. Uh, Badfanger, say no more. Back to the $9.99 stuff. Elton John the Fox in shrink wrap with hop sticker. Mott the Hoople, Mott, nice copy. The Birds, Birds, Neil Young Trans, and Ron Wood, give me some neck. Those are all $9.99. Oh my gosh. What a, what a nice little treat we've been laid here. Ah. Look how nice. Oh, wow. I had this on a cassette. I've told y'all kind of my introduction to music about the Beatles and Past Masters and all that, but I had a cousin who lived next door who had this cassette collection, and he's the one who gave me Beatles Past Masters on CD. Then he gave me Van Halen self-titled on cassette. And then right after I listened to this, I, asked, I told my mom, I really want an electric guitar. And that was because I heard Eddie Van Halen on those first couple tracks, and I was like, what is this weird sounding crazy man? So uh, I think Eddie was influencing people in 1978, and he was probably also influencing people about 2008. So 30 years later. Uh, I never did learn how to play as good as him, though. Van Halen self titled, pristine Japanese pressing, unbelievable, nice copy, has the Japanese insert with it. And this cover is near immaculate. There's like one minuscule little ding on it. Pretty much nowhere on the front or back. Obi Van Halen self-titled is a $65 start. Our first two Japanese pressings have been awesome. We've had uh, Song Remains the Same, and we've had Van Halen self-titled. All right. Now, let's get caught up in the uh, comments here. Uh, test, test again. Bridget, I see your name. Welcome, Bridget. We have uh, Steve Gold on Mott the Hoople. Let me find that. Mott the Hoople sold to Steve Gold. Ed Nelson, you were second. Brandon Jackson gets Ron Wood. Uh, Wolf's Council on BF. That was something I think that's still in here. Badfinger. Wolf's Council gets Badfinger. Jared, you were next to Ron Wood. We have two bids for 65 on Van Halen. Ed. Now, I have listened to this copy before. Uh, one night we had a copy of this that didn't get a minimum bid, I think for $75 that night. I put one up for $75 start. After the sale, I listened to it, I recorded it, and I posted it in the group, and then we had like five people wanting to buy it because after I put it on, I gave it my thumbs up approval. It's a great sounding pressing, uh, and this one looks pristine. So that's a great sounding record. Running with a Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, Atomic Punk, Eruption, Jamie's Crying. Oh, yeah, you really got me, yeah. On Fire, what's the one? Yeah, On Fire is just where he's like, it sounds like he's on fire. It's just unbelievable guitar playing. Okay, we were at Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Say, say, say. That's a 12-inch single, $9.99. It's my party. I'll cry if I want to. The Golden Hits of Leslie Gore. This is a later pressing. I think it's on a black Mercury label, but that is in near mint condition. Leslie Gore, Golden Hits, $9.99. McCartney and Jackson. Marshall Tucker Band, Together Forever, is now $9.99. John Mayall, 
empty rooms. It has some discoloration on the cover. This is more than half off at $9.99, red Polydor label. Vinyl's very clean, cover has some odd look to it. Gary Glitter, this is more than half off at $9.99. Gary Glitter Rock and Roll Part 1 or Part 2, is it Part 2? I guess Part 1, yeah. That's the Hey song. Da -da. Hey, we all heard it. Gary Glitter is in prison in Brazil, I think, or something. He's uh, not a good person. The Notorious Bird Brothers is in shrink wrap, $9.99. James Taylor, JT, is $9.99. And Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes, Call of the Wild, $9.99. The Chambers Brothers, the time has come in shrink wrap. It is the second label. It's very nice, though, $9.99. And Jethro Tull, Living in the Past, VG Plus, $9.99, VG Plus on this. Okay, so uh, Joe Valentine is back in on Van Halen at 75. Mark Shelton, first to Paul McCartney, Say, Say, Say. Alice Lowry on Marshall Tucker Band. Ed Nelson on John Mayall. Um, we have Bird's Label, John Young. The Bird's Label in shrink wrap. Did I already show this one? I guess I didn't. That is the second label, Notorious Bird's Brothers. That is $9.99. Uh, Ed Nelson on Notor. Did I miss something there? Uh, what was that, Ed? Ed, uh, Notor? Uh, notorious. Oh, okay. Uh, John, if you pass on that, that goes to uh, Ed Nelson. Greg Rogers on Ted Nugent. My mom says, hi, Chad. I see you. That means she's like somewhere very close to here. In the parking lot, maybe. <laughs> Wolf's Council was next on Ted Nugent. She just sent an email. Okay, thank you. Alex Roman on Leslie Gore. Sell that to Alex Roman. Jared McLaughlin on Gary Glitter. Jared McLaughlin on Gary Glitter. I think Cameron may be second, or maybe he's laughing about Gary Glitter. Uh, and Ed Nelson, uh, Birds. I got that. And Alex Roman on Gore. Okay, I've got those. So we have uh, James Taylor, Chambers Brothers, Jethro Tull still available. Everything in here is $9.99. Final call on Van Halen. That is a $75 bid right now with Joe Valentine going twice, going three times. Everything in here is $9.99. Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks, that's a VG+. Plus. Slow Train Coming, also Dylan, that's a VG+. Plus. Paul Simon, One Trick Pony, nice copy. It's got a saw mark at the top, very clean vinyl though, $9.99 for Paul Simon. Golden Earring, something, something Heavy Going Down, as seen and heard on Golden Earring's concert for MTV. Radar Love, Twilight Zone. Is this a live, yeah, this is a live compilation for Golden Earring, as heard on MTV, $9.99. Did you get my John Mayall? I guess not. So we need to pull John Mayall then. John, or did somebody already buy that? I may have got it. Yeah, Ed Nelson, you got John Mayall. So we already got that pulled. Kenneth Jank wants blood on the tracks. Sell that to Kenneth Jank. Mark Shelton is back in on Van Halen at 77 uh, Michael, I've already sold Blood on the Tracks. It was a VG+. Plus. John Stevens on Golden Earring. Stacy, you were second. So we do have a new bidder on Van Halen. Mark Shelton's at 77, so that means Joe Valentine. I've got you out on that. The best of Vern Gotson. This is sealed. Sealed copy, $9.99. Willie Nelson, A Horse Called Music. Reba McIntyre, whoever's in New England. That's in shrink wrap. And The Sound of Music, another copy. This one's in shrink wrap, and it has the original booklet with it. Julie Andrews, the sound, of, the sound of Music. Music by Rogers and Hammerstein. Kansas Monolith and Rick Wakeman. This is called Rap Cities in Blue, $9.99. Joe Valentine's back in on Van Halen at 80. David Tate wants the Vern Gotson. Robbie Reason over on The Sound of Music. And Gabe is first to Reba. And Gabe, no, somebody earlier asked about a country artist. Was it Zach Bryan or Luke Bryan? Zach Bryan, right? Yeah. Zach, we don't have anything. There is almost nothing by Zach Bryan in stock. Um, I've been listening to him some lately as well. Uh, very tough to get his records right now. Uh, they're just not producing them. 
they're, I've got them all back ordered. The very popular one, I think it looks like a picture of his mom or something on the cover. That one is probably the most in demand and it's been back ordered for a long time. So uh, when those come in, we'll have them right here or I'll make a Facebook post when I know we're gonna ship it. But those are pretty tough to get right now. Tyler Childers, some of his albums are about to get that way. So there's a certain artist those are pretty big artists right now, but they still don't get the bump in production like Fleetwood Mac or Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd albums. They're sometimes like, I think they constantly press Fleetwood Mac rumors. Probably in Memphis right now, they're stamping Fleetwood Mac rumors. It's just a constant cycle of that. And over in Germany and probably in Czechoslovakia at that big plant over there. There are certain albums I think they're always pressing, but some artists just don't get the, the bump and their stuff's hard to get. Most, a lot of country artists for sure, so. Um, okay, Sound of Music. Gabe got Reba. Arm Lazelle, you were second. Greg, you were second on Sound of Music. And Tom, you were third. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Juan, you were fourth on Sound of Music. Jared McLaughlin on RW. Rick Waitman to Jared McLaughlin. Does Van Halen have the sticker sheet? I don't think Van Halen came with a sticker sheet. I'm like 90% sure that didn't come with a sticker sheet. If it did, I'll be very surprised. Van Halen is at $80 with Joe Valentine. Mark, if you're out, please let me know because that's going twice, going three times. All right, I think I'm caught up. No, I claimed Rick Waitman. That was not Reba McIntyre. That was W. That was RW, not RM. RM got RW. I saw RM in your name, and I guess just assumed Reba McIntyre. Arm Lazelle got Rick Wakeman. Jared McLaughlin, you were second. I think I'm caught up now. Cat Stevens, Cat's Cradle, that is $9.99. Winnie the Pooh, that is uh, $9.99. They're all $9.99. Judy Garland, the ABC collection, that is sealed. Original radio broadcast, Lassie, this is also sealed, $9.99. Johnny Paycheck, Greatest Hits Volume 2, $9.99. Do you have a copy of Living Color Vivid? No, that is something that is not in production. I wish um, that is not available. I think that's, uh, if that's what I'm thinking it is, yeah, that's a heavily bootlegged, or it was bootlegged for a while. That's a very difficult album to get. Uh, I wish. Put that on uh, the, the long list of stuff that needs to be pressed on vinyl. Must be some kind of legal dispute. Okay, Tommy Flowers on Winnie the Pooh. Let me find that. Tommy Flowers on Winnie the Pooh. We've got Jeff McMaster, you were second. Bill McAllister, third. Tracy, fourth. Lisa is first to Lassie. Uh, Nathan Myers, first on Cat. Francis, second on Lassie. Lisa first on Judy Garland, David Tate first on Paycheck, Regina next on Lassie. Mark's out on Van Halen. Van Halen is sold to Joe Valentine for $80. Joe Valentine gets Van Halen for $80. Kenneth Jank wants Tull. Is there a Jethro Tull left? I've got this one, if that's uh, what you want, Kenneth. Living in the past, Fiji Plus. It's got a big ugly scuff on side one, but it's a non-feeler. And I test played it. Okay. Another highly requested Japanese pressing, Prince Purple Rain, near mint copy. We have the extremely nice cover and Obi. Very nice copy. Uh, there's the Japanese insert, and of course, the vinyl is near mint. We've got three great Japanese pressings coming out. Prince is a $65 start. Purple Rain, Japanese pressing, complete with insert, near mint vinyl. Very nice cover as well. Did you put Stray Cats back for me? I will make sure. If Tommy has a Stray Cats on his ticket, we need to put it back. Survivor, Vital Signs. That is now $9.99. Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. That is $9.99. Another copy of The Pretenders. This one is $9.99 because it is VG+. Plus. It is VG+, plus. $9.99 for that one. I think we had one earlier in the $14.99 bin. Sticks, Pieces of Eight. It's a VG+, plus for $9.99. Bruce Springsteen, Darkness on the Edge of Town, $9.99. Kenneth Jank wants the Pretenders. That's sold to Kenneth. Johnny Cash, Greatest Hits, Volume 1. Also VG+, Plus, Greatest Hits, Volume 1. Yes, Drama. That's half off at $9.99. The Who, Face Dances, EX Condition. And, yeah, I checked this last night. It has the poster with it. 
just $9.99 for the Who Face Dances. Charlie Daniels Band Windows, that is now $9.99. And the Hollies, also $9.99. This has the air that I breathe on it, $9.99. Ella Sings Gershon, this is $9.99. Where Are You, Frank Sinatra, $9.99. $9.99. Kenneth got the pretender. Shauna Marker, Shauna Markham, excuse me. I have a feeling somebody earlier claimed Kansas and I didn't pull it. I thought I read that. I could have swore I read out or saw a Kansas comment. Maybe I'm insane. High possibility. Yeah, I guess I'm crazy. All right, so Johnny Cash. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, no, Shauna on Bruce Springsteen. Right here. Shauna got Bruce. Have you listened to The Prince? I have not listened to that. No, I have not. I don't think I've listened to any of them we've had. I should have. Roy on Johnny Cash. Roy Emmons was first to Johnny Cash. William, you were second. Clay was first to The Who. Shauna, you were next on Johnny Cash. Bridget, you were next on uh, The Who uh, label on Parsley. Good question. It doesn't feel like, uh-oh, it's got an original inner sleeve. It is. Original label, first press, more than likely. I'm sure they made a ton of these, but that's the original label. Uh, so, Kevin, if you want that, that's yours. Wolves Council on the Hollies. Clay Moore, you were second. Tom, you were third. Greg Rogers on Charlie Daniels. Brent on Ella. Uh, Pam Dickens on... Frank Sinatra, and Greg Rogers wants Brownsville Station. That was a few back, but we still got it. That's sold to Greg Rogers. Uh, Brent needs to pass on Ella. Tan, I'll just leave that one in there. Uh, but if anybody wants it, let me know. Okay, so change that to Juan. Juan, I've got you down for Ella. Has he bought from us before? Okay, Juan has bought from us before. I thought so. Juan, I've got you down for the Ella Fitzgerald. Kevin says he'll take Simon and Garfunkel. And Kenneth, you were third on Ella Fitzgerald. Shauna, Charlie Daniels is already sold. Okay. Uh, Buck Owens, before you go, no one but you. This actually isn't a markdown. That's <laughs> the only record here that's not on sale. But I saw a Buck Owens album for $9.99, and I was like, what the heck? What's that doing in here? That should have sold. That must have got overlooked by Tommy. Or, yeah. Tommy takes Buck Owens, $9.99 on that. And Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. This was $14.99, and this is now $9.99. Yes, Juan, you got the Ella Fitzgerald. Brent Raley was second on Buck. Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. That is sold to Jack. That's an essential. All right, let me go back through the $9.99 crate one more time. This was Plumful. It is now one-third, so we sold a lot of records out there. Let me go through those one more time. Some of them I went through very, very fast. I will pull it back one notch, and we will go through those one more time. Uh, one in the meantime, Prince is a sixty-five dollar. Prince is a sixty-five dollar opening bid. If someone bids, unless there's two that comes in pretty quick, I will go ahead and sell it to you. I'm the only human to get a vintage LP not on sale. Yeah, that was the only one in there that was actually still nine ninety nine. I just slipped it in there, uh, so. I wasn't passing on Ella, just asking condition after that. Oh, hold on a second. Condition on Ella. Oh, I must have misread that. He just wanted to know the condition. I just saw Ella, sorry, and I just assumed uh, there was no condition notes on that. So, Juan, there may be another correction on that. Uh, I think you're coming to it next, Tanner. Make sure there's no condition notes on that. No condition notes on Ella Fitzgerald. No condition notes on that. So if you want it, it's yours. We'll change it back to you, Brent. If not, uh, it's one's. So just let me know. Okay, next couple box sets. We're now 0 for 1, 2, th we're 0 for 3 on box sets. Let's try, uh, let's try two. Maybe I can get at least one sold. This is a fairly new one. Uh, I never did actually show it live. We had one person special order it and then i ordered one for the store and i just unboxed it today and it's been here since november 29th it's been here on a month uh this is tom petty and the heartbreakers 189.99 look at that artwork live at the fillmore 
the legendary 1997 Residency Super Deluxe Limited Edition. Uh, hits, deep cuts, classic covers, 58 songs on six LPs, four hour, four hours of music, $189.99. This is an awesome box set. Carol just took the words out of my mouth. That is $189.99. That's a fairly new release. That's a fairly new release. If you don't have that already and you're a Tom Petty fan, you are missing out. $189.99 for Tom Petty. Okay, and then this was uh, this was another strict pre-order we did, and I think we only had one person either not pay or cancel on us. It's been a while, and I opened it for the first time tonight. This was the Beastie Boys Check Your Head. These are $124.99. 30th anniversary limited edition deluxe 4 LP reissue featuring 16 bonus tracks, remixes, live versions, and B-sides. That is the Beastie Boys Check Your Head. Very cool box set. That is $124.99. Beastie Boys, check your head. $124.99. Just got opened. So we got, uh, so far I've shown John Hughes, Grunge, Genesis, Tom Petty, and the Beastie Boys. These are all, and those are all that ones we've never even shown before. That's been boxed up. Okay, so Brent Ravely did want Ella. The Prince, David, it's a $65 buy now at this point. It's a pristine copy of Purple Rain. So we had some debate. Uh, I think we determined that the Japanese press didn't include the poster like the U.S. versions did. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. But if this had a poster, it's not with it. But I think somebody, just like, there's certain variations and they're not just like the U.S. So, all right, let me go through this 999 crate one more time. Uriah Heap, head first. Everything in here is $9.99 at minimum, except for that Buck Owens. Everything is at least 20, 25% off. Most of everything is half off, $9.99. We are doing end of the year. We are end of the year closeouts. Dave Loggins is $9.99. Sticks, $9.99. Mountain, Rich Group asked about this. The cover is about VG, VG Plus condition. It is an original press on Windfall. And it appears to be extremely clean. Uh, maybe just some light sleeve scuffs because it was in this very, I don't like the way these are stored like this. Let me actually take it out. I'm going to keep it like this. At worst, uh, EX. Very nice copy, though. Mountain climbing. $9.99. That's a half-off record. Everything's $9.99. Squeeze, Sweets from a Stranger, that's $9.99. Joe Cocker, VG Plus, $9.99. Uh, yes, going for the one, $9.99. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, uh, that's works, just $9.99. Pete Townsend, Scoop, 2LP. The Hollies, he ain't heavy, he's my brother. The Romantics, In Heat. Lover Boy, Keep It Up. Uriah Heap, The Magician's Birthday. Elton John, The Fox, and Shrink Wrap and Hop Sticker. The Birds, no condition notes on that, $9.99. Neil Young Trans, James Taylor JT, The Chambers Brothers in Shrink Wrap, and Bob Dylan Slow Train Coming, VG Plus, $9.99. Uh, John Stevens wants Squeeze. That's sold to John Stevens. Uh, Stereo wants Mountain, but Rich Group was first asking about that, so Mountain is sold to Rich Group. Arm Lazelle, Pete Townsend is near mint. Yes, Pete Townsend is... Extremely nice. Two LP original air sleeves. I have a feeling he's going to want that. I'll just leave it out right quick. Uh, Nathan Myers wants the magician's birthday. That was Uriah Heat. Sell that to Nathan Myers. Tim Holloway on Elton John the Fox. Arm Lazelle said sold on Pete Townsend. And Jared McLaughlin on Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Sell that to Jared McLaughlin. Paul Simon, One Trick Pony. Willie Nelson, A Horse Called Music. That's one we don't, I know we get a billion Willie Nelson albums. This one came out, though, in 1989. A little bit later in his discography. Well, c compared to what he put out the next 40 years, not really. I guess this is 1989 for him, I guess, would be the middle of his career. It's hard to believe. But, uh, yeah, that's 999. Just so everybody knows, that's why I slipped that one in there. It's more than half off. Jeffrey Walker on The Romantics. And Jared McLaughlin wants the birds. The birds. All right, I was waiting for somebody to buy that. 
Kansas monolith, nice copy, gatefold, survivor, vital signs, sticks, pieces of eight, and yes, drama. That's the only ones left in that bin. They're all $9.99. Yes, sticks, survivor, Kansas, Willie, Paul, Dylan, Chambers Brothers, James Taylor, Neil Young, Loverboy, The Hollies, yes, Joe Cocker, another sticks, Dave, and Uriah Heap. Paul Simon to Tim Holloway, One Trick Pony. And Joe Sloop wants Kansas, Monolith. I thought somebody bought it earlier, but I guess not. All right, if anybody wants Prince Purple Rain, $65, buy it now. $65, buy it now. I will lay that right over there. All right, let me try to show another box set. Let's do, this is a new one too. This is called Nirvana, the Broadcast Collection. Broadcast Collection, $99.99. Limited edition clear vinyl. This is a Nirvana Collection, uh, one, two, four LPs, I believe. Three or four. Four LPs, I'm pretty sure. Live and Loud, Down Under on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, Australia, uh, Pat O'Brien Pavilion, Del Mar, California, 1991. That is $99.99. That's a Nirvana Live Unofficial Collection. $99.99. Okay. Um, let me show, let me see what we got here. Let me, uh, tracks on James Taylor. Luke Mitchell wants Willie Nelson. James Taylor, I can tell you the hit right off the top of my head is Your Smiling Face. That's the big one off that. Your Smiling Face, there we are. Honey Don't Leave L.A., Another Great Morning, Bartender's Blue, Secret of Life, Handyman. I Was Only Telling Lie, Looking for Love, On Broadway, Tearing Over, Traffic Jam, I, have, I keep my heart out of sight. All right, so Luke got Willie. Eric, you were second. And Chris Gornsey, uh, you were third. All right, so those are all still left for $9.99. I officially have almost emptied another crate, enough where I can pick them up with one hand, so that's a success. I'm going to go ahead and do the other $19.99 crate. I need to flip through it, though, one time. Yeah, there's a couple pretty incredible records in here that didn't sell the first time around. I don't know how, but uh, yeah, some of these, some of them shouldn't be as much as I'm discounting them, but uh, I'm going to anyway. Y'all know how we do things. We let them roll. Um, let me see what else is in here. Okay, there's a couple albums. Yeah. All right. Oh, yes, we need to show Cherry Pie. Those are right behind the counter in that red crate. Uh, there looks like there's a bag sitting on top of it. I just need to see one. Do you see those, Ed? It's that top red crate. If you can hand me one cherry pie, I need to show that. I'm glad David asked. I would have kept going and forgot. All right, so I think y'all really like the 1999 crates because these are usually incredible titles and they're half off or more at 1999. I thought, man, how many more crates can I go through and actually find 1999 records? And I filled up two crates. I mean, this is the second print. I filled up two crates in no time. So cherry pie, we're going to put David down for one. Um, I think I need to sell like, 15, 20 more, not too many. And they're all, not only are they all gone, but then we can officially do our drawing. So we are officially, we are very, very close to doing the $49.99 drawing. If you missed out, uh, if you missed out on this, I got down to my last 40-something copies of Warrant Cherry Pie. This is the music on vinyl version. Last night we sold like 20-something. I think I've sold five or seven in the post and that means we need to sell about another 20 around 20 copies and we will be sold out of the ones that i had set aside to sell online so 49.99 the drawing will probably be tomorrow uh you don't have to be watching so what i said is i would do some kind of cash drawing i hadn't announced how much or how many winners but tomorrow night we're going to be giving away some money if you buy one of these, we'll put your name in a hat. It will be actually in a spreadsheet. But uh, yeah, we don't have too many more to go. 
And for some reason, if we don't hit that mark by tomorrow, I'll give it a couple more days and we'll do it next week. But they'll be sold out eventually. But I might need to make one more good post to get everybody caught up on that. So sell that one to David and we need to sell a few more. All right. Um, I, I will do the drawing. It's not going to be like Tool where I'm like, well, no one bought one. I'm not doing it. I promise we will do a drawing. But uh, I need to sell a few more to get it done. So when you're done, come check me out. I will. It may be like 2 in the morning, Liam, but I will come check out your channel for sure. All right. So everything in here is $19.99. We're going to be live selling tonight to about midnight, 11.30, maybe midnight. We've been going to 11.30 this week. Um so, a lot to go through. Jimi Hendrix, Crash Landing. No condition notes on this one. Very clean copy. $19.99. Does that include the drawing online? Oh, Nathan Myers also wants one. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the drawing. If you're buying a cherry pie this week, if you're buying a cherry pie this week, $49.99. Hot sticker looks scratched on that warrant. It does have a scratch. David, if you don't want that one, I will give you another one. Hey, I'm telling you, the hop stickers are very important on these music on vinyl. Don't throw away your hop stickers. Jimi Hendrix sold to Roy, so we need another cherry pie for Nathan. Jimi Hendrix goes to Roy. Gabe also wants a cherry pie. There's three. Zappa, ship arriving too late to save a drowning witch. It looks like we've had like three of these but uh, to this week, but they've all sold. $19.99. David says he would like a very fresh one. We will give you one without a, here we go, here's a whole stack of cherry pies. What's some of these numbers? 1851, 1871, these are all in the thousands, 1014, 1835, $49.99. I'll let Tanner, we got a whole crate full of them that we've been picking these out of. Okay, Zappa, 1999. Everything in here is 1999. Jimi Hendrix again, Band of Gypsies, should be a green, Capital label, it is. Band of Gypsies, $19.99. Nancy Wilson from Heart. This is a 2021 release on blue vinyl. Nancy Wilson is $19.99. Nancy Wilson, $19.99. Jimmy's $19.99. Zappa's $19.99. Uh, Little Richard is back. Little Richard is back, and there's a whole lot of shaking going on. On VJ, very clean copy. $19.99 on that. Bless its pointed little head, Jefferson Airplane. I forgot this color for a second. Orange. Orange RCA label. $19.99 on that. And Frampton Comes Alive. I've got two copies. They pretty much look identical. They're very clean, though, which uh, this record was uh, the reason we put... When we put these out, that means they're nice copies because I don't know how many VG and VG Plus copies we have of Frampton Comes Alive in the back. It's one of those like all things must pass and hot rocks, we got them stacked up and it's because they're all completely beat copies. Uh, Frampton is $19.99. Okay, Scott Smith on Nancy Wilson. Scott Smith on Nancy Wilson. Uh, Roy wants the other Jimi Hendrix as well. Greg, you were next. Debbie, you were next on Nancy Wilson. Sherry Darnell on Jefferson Airplane. Shauna Markham on Little Richard and Scott says, give Debbie Nancy Wilson. Two Framptons are still available. I'm going to keep warrant right here where I can see it. Have we located that other bin of priced? I know the other night I was in the office and there was a bin of priced Japanese stuff that we hadn't shown. I am sure of it. So, is there more crates still in there? I'm going to go look. I'm almost like, unless I am going insane, I'm going to go look. Got to find some auction stuff. I must have moved it. I don't know. I've done a lot of shuffling. It must be behind the counter. I bet it's behind the counter. Is that stuff that's already sold there? I guess so. Okay, I did find some more stuff, though. I know these we can sell. The Runaways. All right. 
The Runaways is a Japanese pressing with Obi. Take a look at this. We've had some people want some Runaway albums. The Runaways live in Japan. Gatefold. By the way, Paul Bill said, uh, Paul Bill said the Prince poster did come with a, the Prince album did come with a poster. We do know for sure this Runaways album did not. I hate to touch that, but there's a little something on it. Uh, the Runaways album does not include an insert. There was no insert with this one because we've had like three. There's no inserts. The Runaways live in Japan. I will get this started at a low cost of only $65. The Runaways live in Japan. $65 start for that. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, was I second on Band of Gypsies? Um, I don't even see where you claimed it. I got Roy on Jimmy, and then the next thing to Jimmy is Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Greg, you were second. You were second. All right, everything in here is... Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off Cherry Pie. Let me just lay it back here in the back. $65 start for the, one, the Runaways Live in Japan. There we go. Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield, Picture Disc, half off at $19.99. Janis Joplin, Pearl in Shrink Wrap, that is $19.99. Credence Clearwater Revival, that's also in Shrink Wrap for $19.99. It has a pretty nasty clip corner, but that is $19.99. Jimi Hendrix, Rainbow Bridge, I think this was a foreign pressing. Let's take a look here. This is, um, it's not definitely not U.S., it's some kind of, Foreign pressing. ZZ Top, De Guelo. That's my best temp at that one. That's just now $19.99. Uh, Madonna, Like a Virgin, $19.99. Moondog Matinee, The Band, that's $19.99. Eric Clapton, 461 o Ocean Boulevard, that's $19.99. And The Police Synchronicity, $19.99. The Police Synchronicity. We're going to sell Mark Shelton first. I'll go ahead and tag this first. Mark, I'm going to sell you the Prince album for $55. Then Justin Cleveland was first to Janis Joplin. Sell that to Justin. Tim Holloway, you were second. Shauna, you were third. Greg, you were first that time to Jimi Hendrix. Greg, you were first that time to Jimi Hendrix. Ted, you were second. Kenneth Jank first on Clapton. All right, looking for a $65 bid on the Runaways live in Japan. What a nice copy. What a, what a really nice copy. Runaways live in Japan. All right. Uh, Cindy Lauper, she's so unusual. These are all $19.99. They're at most or at minimum 25% off, but there's a lot of stuff in here that's pretty close to half off. The Cars, Heartbeat City. David Bowie, Rare. This is actually a Italian pressing from 1982. Rare Tracks by David Bowie. That's now just $19.99. The Rolling Stones, Undercover. Jefferson Airplane, Flight Log, 2LP. Has a promo stamp on it. $19.99 for that. Lou Reed, Street Hassle. Lou Reed, Street Hassle. That's now just $19.99. Eric Clapton, Behind the Sun, and Atomic Rooster, In Hearing Of. Atomic Rooster, In Hearing Of, $19.99. Another clean copy, Gatefold Atomic Rooster. This is the worst of Jefferson Airplane. This is a nice one. This is their greatest hits. Pristine Vinyl, it's the textured Gatefold OG of that. Lou Reed, The Bells. And just to satisfy you, this is a sealed Waylon Jennings RCA Special Products. At one time, Radio Shack had it marked down to a dollar. $19.99 on that. Rolling Stones, More Hot Rocks, Big Hits, and Phased Cookies. This was originally $44.99. This is a 2LP Rolling Stones compilation. Okay, back up to the top. Jeremy Rourke, first on Cindy Lopper. Let me pull that for Jeremy. Uh, Jennifer Smith, you were second. Jeff McMaster wants the David Bowie tracks. Give me one second on that. Steve Gold, that was first to Jefferson Airplane Flight Log. And then Wolves Council first on AR, Atomic Rooster, and then Greg on Jefferson Airplane. Okay, so there's where we have a slight... I know Steve's was for sure for Flight Log, but... Because uh, I hadn't even shown this yet when it popped up. 
but I, I wasn't really watching when Greg's popped up. So, Greg, if you want the worst of Jefferson Airplane, it's yours. If you're passing, then that goes to Kenneth Jank. So that's either Greg or Kenneth's. And then Shauna Markham wants Waylon Jennings. Ted Mindpiece on RS. That was for the Rolling Stones. More Hot Rocks. Brent, you were second. And Jared McLaughlin on Eric Clapton. So, Greg, this is yours if you want it. If not, it goes for sure to Kenneth Jank. All right. The Runaways, Greg, it's a $65 buy it now. $65 buy it now. This is a really nice near mint copy with Obi of the Runaways live in Japan. If I can get the sleeve back on it, that would be fantastic without messing up the Obi. There we go. $65 on that. $65 buy it now on that. Okay, Rolling Stone, Stones, Clapton. I was bidding on the worst. All right, so Greg got the worst of Jefferson Airplane. Ted first on Stones. Yes, we have them down for that. All right, uh, Alice Cooper, love it to death. I think this is a repress because he don't have his thumb sticking through his pants. Yeah, repress label. Near mint condition, though. Really nice cover, too. Has a barcode on the back. That is... Uh, 1999 best of strawberry alarm clock best of strawberry alarm clock is sealed that is 1999 I think that's on colored is this Friday this is Sundays that may be on colored vinyl 1999 Bob Seeger live bullet that is 1999 and Bob Dylan John Wesley Harding this is a 360 sound we got a big markdown on this one beautiful copy this shouldn't be in a 1999 bin. This should be on sale in a 34.99 on sale bin. But that is 1999. It is from Fred Goodwin's collection. March 1970. He wrote on the back. Uh, Devo. This is a 2016 red, white, and blue vinyl. Red, white, and blue vinyl. Freedom of choice. Freedom of check that vinyl out. That is now 1999. That was not cheap on Discogs when we originally priced that. And the Jackson 5 Joyful Jukebox Music, that is now sealed more than half off at $19.99. All right, I got a lot of comments to get caught up for. Okay, first, Chip said deal on both Lou Reed's. Chip, we'll come back to that. Uh, Wayne said 50 for the Runaways. Let me think about that. Uh, Carol, the first one. Brent was on Hot Rocks. Ted was first to Hot Rocks, and he got it. Steve Gold on SA, Strawberry Alarm Clock. That sold to Steve Gold. Ed Nelson on SAC. That was Strawberry Alarm Clock. Ed, you were second on that. Brent Rabley wants Bob Dylan. Paul said 55 for the runways. All right, well, we're, we got a second offer. Uh, Sherry Darnell, you were second on Dylan. David Bosworth first on Devo. Jeff McMaster next, and Richard Davis Bill Toe, you were third on Strawberry Alarm Clock. Jeffrey, fourth on Devo. Joe, fifth. Stacy sixth. Brent, seventh. Jeremy, eighth. Jared McLaughlin on SA. That was also Strawberry Alarm Clock. Joe Valentine next on Devo. John Stevens next on Devo. And George Lyle says Runaways. All right, so now we got a couple of conflicting things here. First, I said this was a $65 buy it now because no one bid. No one claimed it. Then we had Wayne offer 50 Paul offer 55, and I think George Delisle is saying he will take it for 65. So when this happens, that means Wayne, you can have it for 65. If you pass, then Paul can have it for 65. And if Paul passes, that means George Delisle gets it for his $65 claim. So that's how that works. Sometimes I go ahead and sell it to somebody, but when kind of offers are on the table, I kind of go to the highest offer, but I also go back to the first person who offered, so they still get a chance at it. So, Wayne, if you pass, then it's Paul's and then George's. We got some great records left in here for 1999. I'll go back through them again a little bit slower. First round, it's like, uh, it's the fast round. Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks. This is a nice copy. We had a VG Plus copy earlier. This one's EX Plus or better. 1999, Bill says, I give up. I think Bill's been watching for three nights, and he's been third or fourth on everything he's been claiming. Bill, keep trying. Bill, keep trying. 
The Monkey's Greatest Hits. This is half off at $19.99. This is a really nice stereo copy. I don't know if they ever pressed that completely in mono, but that's a uh, that's an OG Colgen press, and this is half off at $19.99. Deep Purple, Nobody's Perfect. This is a German pressing. Deep Purple, Nobody's Perfect at half off. Deep, pu deep Purple, Nobody's Perfect. German pressing, $19.99. Does the Titans win and get? Oh, man. Well, they'll, we'll get there. Uh, Miles Davis Tutu in shrink wrap. This is now just $19.99. Miles Davis Tutu. And we've got Paul Simon One Trick Pony. This is a sealed copy. This is a sealed copy, $19.99. Amadeus, original soundtrack recording. That is now half off for $19.99. And Percy Sledge, When a Man Loves a Woman, an original Atlantic pressing. And it is very clean for a Percy Sledge album. Very clean for a Percy Sledge album. Uh, pretty decent cover, too. Uh, Bill says, I give up. Uh, okay, Wayne passes. Roy is... Uh, Roy was first on the Monkees. Stacy says she gives up, too. Uh, Richard Davis was first to Deep Purple. Chris Wood Sr., you were second. Uh, Brent Ravely gets Miles Davis. Bill McAllister was second. Eric Wayne was third. Carol Seeley, fourth. Uh, Steve Gold on PS. That's on the sealed Paul Simon. I almost kept that myself and opened it because that's like perfect. It's no cutouts either. No cutouts on it. That goes to Steve Gold. Well, actually, that might be for Percy Sledge. Hold on. We got two PSs here. We'll have to do some confirmation. Steve Gold, I've got you first for PS. That's Paul Simon or Percy Sledge. It has to be for... It was Percy Sledge. Okay. Percy Sledge. I almost kept this too. When a man loves a woman. That's a nice copy. Uh, sell that to Steve. Uh, Yvette was first to the Amadeus soundtrack. And then, so the other people who put P.S., Calvin, and Brian, I'm assuming y'all wanted Percy Sledge as well. But if you do want Paul Simon, it's available. Sherry, you are also next on Percy, and so was Court. Um, let's see here. Um... Let's see. Kenneth wants to know, can he swap his $9.99 Dylan? He got the VG Plus one to the $19.99 Dylan. You can. I'm perfectly okay with you upgrading. So that is sold to uh, Kenneth Jank for $19.99. Actually, before that, Stereo offered $15 for this. I kind of just skipped over it because I'm not really taking offers on anything in here right now. So Stereo, that's yours if you want it for $19.99. If not, Kenneth wants to upgrade his copy, but he did offer that earlier, and I skipped, I skipped over it. Everything is $19.99 right now. All right. Uh, Steve said no Percy Sledge. I thought he already said yes. Maybe he's not. So he did want Paul Simon. No, I want Percy Sledge. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, well, Kenneth, he, Kenneth can have it. All right, so uh, upgrade Kenneth's blood on the tracks then. Sorry for all the confusion. When we have a lot of people watching and we got records like this that's marked down this much, things get hectic. There's going to be a lot of people who end up in second and third and fourth. There's going to be stuff I show and there's going to be offers. And we have our system I've built over the last few years. So it's a good system. It, always, it hasn't failed us yet. War All Day Music. We have perfected it to this machine of selling records. War All Day Music, that is $19.99. Uh, Tommy The Who, this is an MCA press. It is near mint. That's technically a repress. Extremely nice copy, though, of Tommy The Who. It's an album by The Who called Tommy, in case you didn't know that. The Distance, Bob Seger, nice copy. Original inner sleeve, $19.99 on that. $19.99 on that. All right, let's go through those one more time. Greg wants uh, Tommy. Um, I guess instead of... We could auction some bundles. I guess we could do that. Oh, I pulled some stuff out over here. Here we go. The Runaways goes to George Lyle. I think Paul... Paul, Bill, can you let me know if you were passing on the Runaways? I don't think I ever got a final confirmation from you. But uh, here we go. Next auction. Striper, in God we trust.
Striper and God We Trust. This is a sealed copy, $25 start. Striper and God We Trust. Sealed copy, $25 start. David says he wants one trick pony. I think everybody who commented PS earlier wanted Percy, so that's so to you, David. Here's what's left in our second 1999 bin. Frank Zappa, ship arriving too late to save the drowning, which Paul passed on. Okay, I must have not seen that initially. So George Law got the runaways for 65. Frampton Comes Alive. We still got both copies. A monster album from the uh, Family Guy skit. He says, somebody's like, that's a monster. And Peter's like, I'll sh I know what a monster is. Frampton Comes Alive. And then he starts talking about how everybody had it in the 70s. Tubular Bell, also known as the Exorcist soundtrack. Mike Oldfield. This is the picture disc version. $19.99 on that. Uh, Credence Clearwater Revival. Pendulum. We had $34.99 on this. Near mint copy. It's in shrink wrap, but it's a heck of a cut corner. $19.99. ZZ Top is $19.99. And Madonna Like a Virgin. $19.99. Yeah, I guess Frampton... This is uh, just not at the top like it used to be, huh? That's kind of sad. Huge album. That is something you have to have in your collection, though. I don't think they repress that. I don't even know if that's in print. So, Alive is dead. So, mm. uh, Moondog Matinee, the band, 1999. We got to get a couple people to buy Frampton to, to get Frampton back alive, right? The Police Synchronicity. Maybe if he'd autographed it, I'm sure y'all would pay that for it, right? We, uh, we sold an autographed copy a couple weeks ago. Synchronicity, another classic. We got some class. This is like the classic album's essentials here. Heartbeat City, that's now 1999. Oh, I never did read these tracks for Jeff McMaster. Uh, Ragazzo Solo, Ragazza Sola, Round and Round, Amsterdam, Holly, Holly, or Holy Holy. There's only one L. Panic in Detroit, Young Americans, a different mix than the original track, it says, done for the U.S. market. Velvet Goldmine, Heldon, John, I'm Only Dancing, again, Moon of Alabama and Crystal Japan Instrumental. That is 1999. Uh, Rolling Stones, Undercover, Lou Reed, Street Hassle, 1999, Lou Reed, The Bells, 1999, Love It to Death, Alice Cooper, really nice copy. A, also, a near-mint copy of Live Bullet. you got to have that one. Another live album you need to have. Ju Joyful Jukebox Music, that is sealed, 1999. Sealed 1976 Motown record, Michael Jackson, Jackson 5. War All Day Music, that's a good one. And Bob Seger, The Distance, 1999. Everyone probably has a Frampton, probably. Sherry Darnell says she will take a Peter Frampton. Sell Sherry a Peter Frampton, 1999. Uh, Bill Reese is at 30 on Striper. Striper is up for bid, $30. Frampton needs to be resuscitated. Jamie Butler on The Police. Uh, David Bosworth on The Cars. Calvin's back in on Striper at 35. Jeff said, I will take the David Bowie, David Bowie Rare Tracks. That's sold to Jeff McMaster. Uh, Carlene's wants, Carlene wants the Jackson 5. Jack Suslack on PF, that was Peter Frampton. And yeah, Live Bullet. Uh, David's at 40 on Striper. Live Bullet has one of the greatest transitions in a song I've ever heard. And that's when he goes from traveling man to beautiful loser. Well, what a nice copy too. It looks even better when you take it out of the four mil sleeve. That's nice. 1999. Calvin's back in on Striper at 45. So we have a sealed copy of Striper in God We Trust. Does that even have any cutouts or anything in it? Uh, yeah, there's no cutouts or saw marks in this one. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's camouflaged. It's a very thin, a very thin line right there. I'm talking, it's like razor thin. All right. So. Here's what's left. One more time. Bob Seger. Bob Seger. War. Alice Cooper. Lou Reed. Whoever asked for a bundle uh, on these, are you still watching? Chip Trout, I think. 
Rolling Stones, The Band, Madonna, ZZ Top, Credence, Mike Oldfield, and Zappa. Uh, Chris Wood wants Seeger. I'm assuming you want Live Bullet, right? If you're passing or if you wanted the other one, let me know. Is this the $7? We need to do a $7 crate. I do have... What's underneath here? Let's see. That's our bundle crate. Um, that's our new arrivals. I do have some new arrivals. I've got two crates of new arrivals. Chris wanted that. All right. Da, 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 da. Chip trout still here. Okay, if you want both of the Lou Reeds, they were 20 and 20. I'll save both of them for $35. The Bells and Street Hassle. Another $5 off on those. All right, another empty crate. Chad's happy. Right, Tanner? Tanner said, yep. Kenneth Jank wants the band. Moondog Matinee. Chip Trout said both. Two reeds. Lou reeds. Uh, for $35. John Humphreys in on Stropper at $45. We actually already got Calvin. Calvin's at $45 on Stropper via YouTube. All right, so I've got three copies of this left. This is one I'll actually discount. This is the Super Deluxe. So some of these Led Zeppelin box sets, they actually have uh, deluxes. Uh, they actually have deluxes too where there's a standard deluxe and then a super deluxe. And this is the super deluxe of how the West was won. Sell Chris Wood, make both Seegers for $35. All right, so this one was $214.99. If anybody wants one, I'll do $200 on it. Now this is what you get. Super Deluxe box set, the classic 1972 live performances from Los Angeles and Long Beach. Three CDs and four LPs. You get the DVD with 5.1 surround and high-res stereo. 18 tracks, Immigrant Song, Days and Confused, Stairway to Heaven. The HD download card, uh, individually numbered album cover art print, and a 52-page book with 50 photos and memorabilia. That's Led Zeppelin, How the West Was Won. So essentially, I'll do these for... 19, excuse me, one, I messed up again, 199.99, Led Zeppelin, How the West Was Won. That's kind of what it looks like unpackaged, four LPs. You got to have these in your Zeppelin collection. Awesome live stuff. I don't know how many times I've listened to this. The vinyl, the, especially streaming on iTunes or where I originally imported where I got the CD box set. But before I show anything else of Led Zeppelin, I've got, here's what I have in Zeppelin box sets. I've got How the West is One, BBC Sessions, which I think I like even more than this. I've got Song Remains the Same, Coda, Led Zeppelin 3, House of the Holy, and Led Zeppelin 4. That's the only thing I have in stock right now for Zeppelin. I don't have 1 and 2. I don't have Physical Graffiti. I don't have Celebra Celebration Day and Mothership are long out of print. I wish I had those sitting on the shelf, but I don't. No Celebration Day. No mothership. BBC price, uh, it's also $214. I'll do it for $199.99. It's, uh, it's also a super deluxe, just like how the West was won. I'm going to go through this crate of new vinyl very quickly. I'm going to rotate these around. I'm going to go through this very quickly. We need to show a little bit of new vinyl. I actually have some I'm going to do on sale, but uh, there's some really good stuff in here I don't think I've shown in a while. So I think it's time to do that. But that's the Led Zeppelin box sets I have in stock. Uh, three, four, House of the Holy, BBC Sessions, Coda, Song Remains Same, and How the West Was Won. I would love, currently I am, we are like 0 for 18 now on box sets. I have not made a deal yet with anybody on a box set. John Humphrey is at 47 on Striper. John Humphrey is at 47 on Striper. Okay, new vinyl. Everything in here is sticker price. Uh, there's some stuff in here I hadn't shown in a long time, or maybe I only shown once. Kiss Alive. That is the 2014 remaster. No, this is the German version. See the S's back there? This is the German version. $59.99. That's the German import of that. $59.99. Uh, Twisted Sister, Donington. 
limited edition purple splatter vinyl, $33.99 for Twisted Sister Donington. Candle Mass, Nightfall, that's also $33.99. And Bad Brains Quickness, $25.99 for Bad Brains Quickness. All that remains, 15th anniversary pressing, $28.99, that's from Kraft, All That Remains. Uh, television, Marquee Moon, I have two of these. These are UK imports, $48.99. Final Call on Striper, John Humphrey has that for $47. Extreme Porno Graffiti, $38.99 for that. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Greatest Hits, $49.99. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Greatest Hits. Stevie Nicks, The Wild Heart, $29.99. Stevie Nicks, The Wild Heart, $29.99. Anook Hotel New York, limited to $500 on magenta vinyl, $34.99 on that. Eye to Eye 220 Volt is $38.99. Eye to Eye 220 Volt, $38.99. John Mintzmoyer wants Bad Brain. Sell that to John Mintzmoyer. Brent K on Extreme. Sell that to Brent. And let's go ahead and sell Striper to John Humphrey. Thank you, John. That sold to you for $47. And are you going to show BBC H Ace and Three? Yes, if you want me to show them, I will. Absolutely. I was kind of waiting for somebody to ask that. I've got them stacked over here on a cart. They're very big and heavy, as you know. But yes, if you want to see those, I will. I will gladly show those. Let me get through this crate first. The Oregon Trail music from the Game Loft game. This is on purple vinyl, thirty-three ninety-nine on that. Halloween, the Dark Ride. This is like split colored vinyl. I think it's blue and white. $49.99, that's technically an import. The 80s Collected, Volume 2, $44.99. The 80s Collected, Volume 2, Tears for Fears, Spandau Ballet, Phil Lynott, Public Image, The Mission, Big Audio Dynamite, that is $44.99. Stranger Things, The Music from Season 3, $36.99. Ornette Coleman, Change of the Century, that's limited and numbered on gold vinyl from Music on Vinyl, $38.99. And we got a couple audio file releases. First, it's something I highly recommend. I kept one of these myself. Jethro Tull Stand Up. This is Analog Productions. It's pressed at RTI. It's a 2LP 45 RPM. If you don't have that already, $69.99. And this one's already opened. The perforation got torn, but let me show you. They even replicated the pop-up cover. It's a uh, extremely nice gatefold jacket, as you can tell. And those are $69.99. Those are pressed at RTI. Those are very, very nice. Uh, we've got MoFi copies of Foreigner, their self-titled first album. I have two of those left at $49.99. And also, one of the best-sounding records. Uh, I mean, if you like Leonard Skinner, this is the crown jewel. Their first album, and it's a 100% analog cut from Analog Productions, $69.99. If you don't want to spend that much, this is also another really good-sounding record. Music on vinyl, pronounced. It's just digital. $38.99, Leonard Skinner pronounced. Bloodline is Joe Bonamassa's first band. This is $44.99. Music on vinyl, Joe Bonamassa's Bloodline. I've got three of those for $44.99. King Crimson, three of a perfect pair, $38.99. King Crimson Discipline is $38.99. Bon Jovi, the best of Bon Jovi Crossroads, $44.99. The Bob Seger System, that's a reissue of Bob Seger's first album. OGs are, true OGs are pretty difficult to find, especially in good condition. $34.99, ACDC's Flick of the Switch, $29.99. John Cougar Mellencamp, Scarecrow, $33.99. Deftones Covers, $39.99. Pussifer, this is uh, their newest album, Conditions of My Parole, $39.99. The Immortal Randy Rhodes Ultimate Tribute Album. This is other artists paying tribute to Randy Rhodes. That's an import only, $48.99. Danzig, Satan's Child on Splatter Vinyl, $33.99. And the very best of Elvis Costello, Extreme Honey, 2LP Gold Vinyl, $44.99. And there's another Randy Rhodes tribute. Those are all available for sale. I just wanted to go through that right quick because we hadn't shown those in a while. I'm going to grab our $7 crate, and I'm going to put up a new auction. Here's our $7 crate. Sorry, it's very heavy. All right. Let's see. Let me put cherry pie back here where everybody can see it. 
And let me see what our next option is. I've got, um, okay, let's do this. Sam and Dave, hold on, I'm coming. This is a UK press on stacks. It's extremely nice. It has a couple scuffs right in here. This is side one. Side two, same thing. It does have some needle drops. Um, but for what this is, being a UK press and being the album that it is, a very nice copy. The scuffs and the needle drops are non-feelers, very glossy. It's got this uh, UK type laminate cover. $25 start on that. Sam and Dave, hold on, I'm coming. $25 start on that. Uh, Robert Johnson says he wants the new Pussifer album. Uh, that's sold to Robert Johnson and Tim Holloway. He will take ACDC's Lick of the Switch. Sell that to Tim Holloway. All right. Everything in this bin, let me make sure. Yeah. Everything in this bin is $7. You heard me correctly. $7. Ted Nugent, free for all. I will let you know if it's a check condition record. If not, you can assume it's EX to near mint minus. Ted Nugent, Screen Dream, $7. Alan Parsons Project, Pyramid, $7. Pure Prairie League, Can't Hold Back, that's in shrink wrap, $7. Whose Garden Was This? John Denver, $7. Mickey Gilly's Greatest Hits, Volume 1, in shrink wrap, $7. Pat Benatar, Tropico, this cover is kind of... Uh, it's a VG minus cover for sure. It's got ring wear. It's kind of ripped right here. $7 for Pat. Blondie Rapture. This is a VG plus. It's a UK Blondie. That's a 12 inch single. Rapture from the UK. $7. Crosby Stills and Nash. Daylight Again. $7 for that. Alan Parsons Project. Ammonia Avenue. $7. America. Excuse me. This is Prince. America. The B side is Girl. This is a VG. 12-inch single from Prince, $7. Sam and Dave, 25. Sam and Dave, 25. Sam and Dave, 30. Kenneth Jank wants Alan Parsons. Tanner, these all start $7. There's Alan Parsons for seven. Steve Gold was first to the Blondie. That is Steve Gold's. Jeff was second. Leslie, third. Tom, fourth. Jeff McMaster on P. That's for Prince. And Jeremy Rourke wants John Cougar, the new one. Jeremy is wanting the new remixed and remastered half speed master of Scarecrow. That's sold to Jeremy for $33.99. Good decision. Stereo wants Ammonia. Ammonia Avenue. That is sold to Stereo for $7. And Brent Rabley is at $35 on Sam and Dave. Everything in here is $7. Zager and Evans and others. The early writings of Zager and Evans. Laura Nero, $7. No condition notes on either one of those. Shine on Brightly, Pro Call Harem, $7. Nazareth, Close Enough for Rock and Roll, $7. This is Booker T and Priscilla, $7 on that. Booker T and Priscilla. Rare Earth, Get Ready, $7. The Moody Blues, 7th Sojourn. The Moody Blues, 7th Sojourn, $7. Crosby and Nash, that's also $7. And the Beach Boys, Fun, fun, fun. Tommy James, that is $7. And Neil Young, American Stars and Bars. Another VG copy. I'm telling you, the near mint copies of that are, for some reason, low population because uh, we don't get too many of them. All right, let me stop right there. Uh, Sam and Dave, 35. Sam and Dave, 37. Steve Gold, first to the Pro Call Harem. Wolves Council on MB. I have a feeling that was for Moody Blues. It is. David Bosworth on BB. That's for the Beach Boys. Tom Yonowski on Tommy James. And Greg Brumman on Neil Young. If you happen to just be tuning in, we are continuing this week with our on sale. We have shown very little new arrivals this week. One, John's on vacation. Two, um, it's end of the year. And we had thousands and thousands of priced records that had not sold. We have been slashing prices. And uh, we're probably, far as quantity, this week will not only probably set a sales record, but it will probably also sell, set a quantity record. Right, Ed? Yes. Ed said for sure. Ed takes care of our cart, putting everything in alphabetical order. We have two, you know those big carts I take pictures of? Those, by the end of tonight, will be almost full, and we've got another solid night of selling. So I think we're going to go ahead and probably order 
another cart, but I should have already done that, right? Okay, I think I should have done that today because you line, we may have to go pick it up because I don't know if we can have it here by tomorrow. So, Jared, you were second on Pro Call Harem, uh, but you were first to Rare Earth. I think that you line, I, uh, I think you can go pick up there. So, a record on records. Yeah, we have sold quantity. Uh, we're averaging like eight entire crates of records sold the first three nights of this week. So, a lot. Thanks, everybody. That's why uh, we do this. We couldn't do it without you, though. Thank you. Pete Townsend, Empty Glass. That's in shrink wrap, $7. The popular Duke Ellington. The popular Duke Ellington. This is now just $7. $7. Uh, Santana is a VG copy, $7. The Buckingham's Greatest Hits. No condition notes on that. 7 bucks. And Chicago is $7. And Iron Butterfly Scorching Beauty, $7 on that. Olivia Newton-John's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. No condition notes. Carol King Fantasy. Nice copy. And The Raiders, Indian Reservation. Indian Reservation. Well, there's a couple good records coming up. Let me push those back. Um, a record on records. Uh, the secret's out. Sam and Dave is at 38. Eric Wayne, first to Duke Ellington. That's sold to Eric Wayne. Uh, buy now, pricing works. Yeah, I like this. Uh, Greg Brummett on Santana. Uh, Sam and Dave is at 45 with Brent. Amy Reed, first on Chicago. Stereo wants Olive. That's Olivia. So to Stereo and Stacy Metternich gets Raiders. It took the whole Cherokee Nation. Everything in here, seven bucks. Ry Cooter, get rhythm. That's in shrink wrap. This is Jackie D. Shannon. What the world needs now is love. Pretty nice copy. Crosby Stills and Nash. This is a pretty low grade copy, though, at a VG. Not really low grade, but it's a VG. Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks. Uh, this was in our $9.99 bin. If anybody wants this, it was in our it was put back because he got a better copy. This is a VG Plus Blood on the Tracks. If anybody wants that, $9.99. Tommy Flowers wants Rye. That or yeah, Tommy Flowers, that's Chasing Heart. And Jared McLaughlin wants Iron. Jared's always just a couple clicks behind, but he usually still gets some records. He gets Iron Butterfly. I sell that to Jared. Jermaine Jackson, let's get serious. Seven dollars on that. Positive Vibration, 10 years after. I actually had two copies. They both look pretty identical. They're both VG+. Plus. One has a barcode, one doesn't. So one's a later pressing than the other. That's the only difference. There's one label. They're probably the same label, though. Probably both that same. Yeah, one is probably a little bit later, though. Those are, uh, those are uh, VG+, Plus copies at $7. Willie Nelson sings Christofferson, $7. The best of Vern Gotson. Half off in shrink wrap at $7. I've got a couple 12-inch singles here. Bananarama, Robert De Niro's Waiting, and Elton John, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, uh, the Renaissance Mix, and A Word in Spanish. A couple different mixes of both songs. That is from 1988. $7 on that. And Alabama is now $7. Feels so right, Alabama. Michael Murphy, Blue Sky, Night Thunder, has Wildfire on it. And David Bowie, Tonight, Vocal Dance Mix, $7. Oh, I thought my feed just messed up. I would be in bad shape. Uh, Brent got a 10 years after, but then he passed. But Kenneth Jank also wants one. Kenneth, I'm going to give you this one right here. Sell that to Kenneth, the one without the barcode. What happened? Okay, next was Jared McLaughlin on Jackie DeShannon. Sell that to Jared McLaughlin. Bridget Crouch on Vern. Vern Gotson goes to Bridget. Tom Ulanowski on EJ. EJ stands for Elton John. Bill McAllister, you were second. Jeff Miller wants the Willie Sings Christofferson. That goes to Jeff Miller. Sherry Darnell, first to Alabama. Doug White, you were third on Elton. Carlene, fourth. Jeremy, you were next on Alabama. John Stevens gets to David Bowie. Shauna, you were also next on David Bowie. Or Shauna, you were also next on Alabama. Leslie, next on David Bowie. And so was Michael. Actually, he put BD. But either way, I think I think maybe those got mixed up there. But that's already sold. $7, Simon and Garfunkel. This is a Pickwick compilation of some early tracks. The best of Nat King Cole and Shrink Wrap. And The Who, It's Hard. That's a VG copy of that. 
VG copy. Hey, look, Craig. There's another copy. This one's VG, though. The last price I seen on Sam and Dave was $45. Up for bid is a UK pressing of Sam and Dave. Hold on, I'm coming. Very clean copy for what it is. Brent's at $45, and that's going twice, going three times. Going twice, going three times on that. Yvette Vergara got Nat King Cole. Sell that to Yvette. The Supremes. We remember Sam Cooke. This is the Supremes covering Sam Cooke songs. This is in 1965, and I think at that time, he'd already passed away. Sam Cooke passed away very young, unfortunately. $7 for that. Uh, Jeff is at uh, 46 on Sam and Dave, and Steve Diamond wants S and G. S and D for Sam and Dave, S and G for Simon and Garfunkel, Steve Simon. Uh, let's see, Kenneth Jank wants the Supremes, Leslie Holt on the Supremes, and Chip Trout, you were third. Vanilla Fudge, near the beginning, that's in EX condition, now $7. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones, the Monkeys. A VG copy, this is a Rhino repress, 7 bucks. Chicago 17, that's in EX condition in shrink wrap, $7. Alan Parsons Project Eve. That is a VG Plus for $7. And the Guess Who, Wild One. I think this is another... The Guess Who had a lot of music because there's a lot of comps, and every time I look at the back of one, it's songs that I still... They're all still different. So that's a Pickwick Press and $7 for the Guess Who. Cool cover there, guy on the motorcycle. And Firefall, self-titled. $7 for Firefall. Sam and Dave, 47 to Brent Rabley. So, Jeff, you're back out. Wolves Council on VF, that's Vanilla Fudge. Tom Ulanowski, you were second. A few more records in here before we go back through them. Graham Nash and David Crosby, no condition notes on that, about a VG Plus cover. Rodney Crowell, but what will the neighbors think? This has been ultrasonically clean. The cover is about VG on that one as well. And Classic Four, Traces, featuring Dennis Yost. That's in shrink wrap, no condition notes. Pretty nice copy. Classic Four, $7 on the... Imperial label. I need to stretch my leg. Oh my gosh. I don't have my fatigue mat like I usually do. I've conditioned over the last three years doing this. I remember when I first started doing this and I was standing up for five hours at a time. I was like, without being able to move. Well, I was walking around, I guess, but I think now I've got used to it. Except tonight. My right leg is almost asleep. Steve Gold got traces. Steve Gold got traces. Okay. Let's go back through these. Everything is $7. Brent Rabley, Jeff, please let me know if you're out. If, if you are, I'm going to sell that to Brent immediately. So if you want to bid, I wouldn't wait any longer so I'll know you're interested. If Jeff says he's out, Jeff's back in at 48. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Let's go through these one more time for $7. And uh, I guess if maybe if you want to do some bundling, let me know. Uh, I'd like to stick, the second go around, I'd like to stick at $7, but we'll see what happens, okay? Wolves Council, I'll see your request. Let's see what happens, all right? We've got Ted Nugent, Free For All, Ted Nugent, Scream Dream. Those are all $7. Pure Perry League, no condition notes on any of these so far, 7 bucks. John Denver, that's an earlier album. I think that, yeah, that's from 1970. 1970 on that one. Mickey Gilly's Greatest Hits, that's $7 in shrink wrap. Pat Benatar, Tropico, that is $7. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, that is $7. Zager and Evans is $7. And Laura Nero is $7. Uh, Tracy said both Ted's for $12. Sell both Ted Nugent's for $12. Any George Strait? No. But you know what? I found last night a George Strait album. It's a later one in his discography. But uh, it was in stock, and I had never seen it, nor have I ever had it. Those should be here tomorrow. Uh, it's a pretty recent one. Yeah, it's much later. It's like within the last 10 years, probably. So it's something about drinking. What's it called? Y'all know it? Cold Beer Conversations. And I got on Discogs, and of course, where they hadn't been printed, they weren't really that cheap recently. It looks like they've come back in stock, so prices have kind of dropped. But uh, it's called Cold Beer Conversations. So I will have that. 
Ron Phillips on Laura Nero. That sold to Ron. Uh, Jeff McMaster's back in on Sam and Dave at 53. Would you take seven for the VG Bob Dylan? Uh, is that in here, or was you talking about this? This was VG Plus, just so there's no confusion. Nazareth is $7. Uh, Booker T and Priscilla, I don't know a lot about this, but we originally had $24.99 on it, so that's 7 bucks. Crosby and Nash is $7. And Pete Townsend, Empty Glass. Nice copy and shrink wrap. Which one of these has let my... Yeah, this one has let my love open the door. Very catchy. That song and The Who has another song that sounds... When they come on, they sound almost like the same song. Pete Townsend and The Who. It's like the... Doo -doo -doo, uh, it's like a keyboard. Um, I forgot what that one's called, too. Okay. Jared McLaughlin wants Zager and Evans. And Bob Dylan, we're going to go ahead and sell that to Brian for $7. And Jeff McMaster wants Pete Townsend. Hey, me doing the little jingle sold that, didn't it? I ha all I have to do is sing. I'm not going to break out into full... Uh, I'm not going to break out into my full Freddie Mercury, uh, but sometimes I may give you a little hint of a jingle so it recognizes, so it registers with your brain. Right, Seth? You're delusional. Seth, did y'all win tonight? Not as a class. Seth? Team lost. I'm so sorry. That is terrible. I shouldn't even ask you. Huh? Okay, let me take a drink of water right quick. I'm very thirsty. Chad's Jingles. Let my love open the door. The Buckingham's Greatest Hits, $7. Carol King Fantasy. This one looks really nice. Original textured inner sleeve, textured cover. Great songwriter. Crosby and, St Crosby and Nash, that's a VG copy. Jermaine Jackson, Let's Get Serious. Ten Years After, Positive Vibrations, that was a VG+. Plus. Bananarama, Robert De Niro's Waiting, Michael Murphy, Blue Sky. You know, Walt, ooh, let me start over. Wolves Council, I'm going to sell this to you for $5. It has a piece of tape at the top, just so you know that. If you're okay with that, I will sell that to you for $5. Brent Rabley's back in on Sam and Dave at 55. It's between Brent and Jeff now. The Who, It's Hard is a VG copy. Eminus Front. Uh, the Monkees is a VG copy. Chicago 17 is EX, $7. Allen Parsons Project, E, VG plus $7. The Guess Who, Wild Ones, VG plus $7. Firefall, $7. Graham Nash and David Crosby, that's $7. And Rodney Crowell is a... That's, we've already ultrasonically cleaned that one. Near Mint. VG cover, though. VG cover, though. All right. I'm waiting for Jeff's word on that. Uh, let's see. Please switch Nazareth for Big Brother and the Holden Company. I got Tuesday. Wayne Titsworth. Wayne is doing a trade. He wants Nazareth instead of Big Brother and the Holden Company. He got Tuesday. I think we can do that. It is a uh, $25 charge, though. $25 charge to swap stuff out. Jeff McMaster's at 60 on Sam and Dave. Let's do a crate of new arrivals. Okay, these are going to be sticker price, but they're new arrivals. We've never shown them before. New arrivals, as in vintage new arrivals. Vintage new arrivals. It, it's in a $7. It was a $7 record. You wore me out. Enjoy, Jeff. Uh, Jeff is at 60. Brent says he's out. 30 seconds on Sam and Dave. Jared McLaughlin said he would give six for Carol King. I'm not going to turn down a dollar. Sell that to Jared McLaughlin for six. All right, these are new vintage arrivals. I don't know if I've even really got to flip through them, so they're all going to be surprised with everybody. What kind of bin was this in? This was a $9.99 record if anybody wants it. Wayne's putting this back. How hard is it, Big Brother and the Holden Company? That is $9.99 if anybody wants it. Okay, new arrivals, new vintage arrivals. Everything in here is sticker price. Let's go ahead and sell Jeff McMaster, Sam and Dave for $60. And let me grab a new auction. Guess what it is? Uh, $5 for that Wolf's Council. Guess what it is? It's another really clean copy. I wish I had as many OG copies of... 
Uma, uh, OG copies of Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall as I do Umaguma. How many auctions have we had? This is probably at least the fifth or sixth of these we've auctioned in the last 30 days. Once again, really clean copy, gatefold. It's a US. It's probably, if, if it's not a first press, it's definitely early, mid-70s. This album originally came out, what, 69, I think? Uh, 69, I'm pretty sure. So nice, clean copy. Of course, they pressed this, I think, in early 70, 72, 75, probably even in the 80s. So Umaguma, we're going to do a $30 start on that. Very clean copy, Pink Floyd, Umaguma. And Wolf's Council wants Big Brother for $9.99. That goes right back on the cart, this time under Wolf's Council. That's amazing, though, if you think about it. Pink Floyd, an artist as big as they are, and we hardly ever, ever get original copies in any condition of Dark Side of the Moon. And it's so no telling how many copies, but uh, just in collections. And, and if we do get them, whether they're mint in shrink wrap, which is almost non-existent, or if they're completely worn out. We don't have any copies right now in any of our inventory. If so, they're hit, they're hiding in the back right now. Or they're so bad, we probably wouldn't even put them out. So it's pretty amazing. Just like Thriller, just like The Wall, uh, Led Zeppelin albums, and just uh, some of those best-selling albums of all time. Okay, new arrivals. Elvin Bishop, Let It Flow. These are all new arrivals, first time showing them. They're a sticker price. Elvin Bishop is in shrink wrap, $14.99. Moon Rider, what an interesting cover. Uh, it's like a foil top, $9.99. Moon Rider, Moon Rider, promo copy, white label, $9.99 for Moon Rider. Uh, boy, we're into some obscure stuff here. This is $14.99. I don't know what it is. Jorma Kokkonen. I don't know. I just butchered that. That is $14.99, though. Uh, Blood Rock, Whirling Tongues, $19.99 for Blood Rock, Whirling Tongues. Gruppo, boy, this I've, I found myself in a mess here. Gruppo Sportivo, 10 Mistakes, $14.99. Carly Simon, Hot Cakes, $9.99. Lines and Ghost, Velvet Kiss, Lick of the Lime, $14.99. Uh... Elvin Bishop, Hog Heaven, $14.99. Clatu, $19.99. Boy, this looks very nice. In shrink wrap, Clatu is $19.99. Uh, the Five Man Electrical Band, Sweet Paradise, $19.99. It doesn't have the song signs on it, though. $19.99. Uh, Bangor Flying Circus, in shrink wrap, $19.99. Bangor Flying Circus. Tangerine Dream, the Sorcerer soundtrack. We had one of these, I think, in a New Arrivals last night. $24.99, Tangerine doing the Sorcerer soundtrack. That is Poco. Poco is $9.99. And Poco Legend. That's probably the most requested one, Legend, $9.99. Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart. It's all happening on the inside. Boyce and Hart, $19.99. Nice copy. All right, let's get updated here. Pink Floyd, 30, 30, 31, 35. Pink Floyd's at $40 with Robert Johnson. Then Carol Seeley wanted Jorma. That was right here. That sold to Carol Seeley. Does Mickey Thomas sing on the Elvin Bishop? This one right here. Um, let's see. Uh, Elvin Bishop is Elvin Bishop, Johnny Vernanza, Michael Brooks, Don Baldwin, guest artist, Richard Betts, Toy Caldwell, Charlie Daniels. John Sandlin, Sly Stone, Steve Miller, Paul Hornsby, uh, Harold Williams, Vassar Clements. Wow, there's some big names on here. Background vocals, Mickey Thomas. Who did he ask for? Did Mickey Thomas. It says back, uh, background vocals, Gideon Daniels, Mickey Thomas, Joe Baker, Charlie Daniels. Wow, there's a lot of big names playing on there. It's on Capricorn. That's sold to Tommy Flowers. All right, Brent Rabley was first to the Blood Rock. Nathan Myers was second and give Blood Rock to Nathan Myers instead. All right, so Robert Johnson has Pink Floyd for $40. That's going twice, going three times. Average White Band and Ben E. King, Benny and Us, has some cover damage along the top, $12.99. The Beatles' White Album, 
This is a 1978 Purple Capital label. Uh, it has a stain on the cover. We auctioned one of these off earlier just like this. This one's $49.99. That's about what it sold for at auction. $49.99. Purple Capital label Beatles. David wants the second Poco. He wants Legend. Sell that to David Bosworth. Jared McLaughlin wants the Boyce and Hart. That's sold to Jared McLaughlin. Final, final call on Pink Floyd. Dickie Betts and Great Southern. 1999. Jeff Beck Group, Rough and Ready. 1999. Poco Under the Gun in shrink wrap. $9.99 for Poco. Poco Indian Summer, also in shrink wrap. $9.99. Cruising 59. Cruising 59. That is $14.99. They also, not only does it have songs from 1959, they also do little uh, commercial snippets. Saturday evening post commercial, champion spark plug commercial. It's really a true to period. It will take you to 1959. Frank Sinatra Cycles is $14.99. And Frank Sinatra Only the Lonely, $14.99. Brent, thanks for watching. I hope you're feeling better. I, I think you said you were sick. And uh, I still got to send you those pictures. I got to send you an audio clip for that 45. And I still got to send you some pictures of that baseball. Uh, I plan on doing that tonight. It's on my long to-do list that keeps getting longer every night. So, uh, Come Fly With Me, Frank Sinatra. I love this cover. $14.99. Yeah, $14.99. Frank Sinatra's Greatest. This is a 2LP in shrink wrap. No, it's just a gatefold. Single LP, $14.99. And Henry Gross, Show Me To The Stage. That is $9.99. Sean Foxborough wants Come Fly With Me. Let's go ahead and sell Pink Floyd to Robert Johnson for $40. And next... Unless there's somebody been asking for an Accept album that we showed one night and I haven't been able to find it. If this is whoever that is, if this is what you were looking for, then I will set it aside. If not, I'm going to auction both of these together in one lot. I've got two albums by Accept, Russian Roulette, and I think this one is self-titled. And it's in shrink wrap. So we have Accept. Accept, self-titled, and accept Russian Roulette. Both of these I'm going to put up for auction. You're buying both of them. Uh, $40 start for accept. $40 start. The Swingin' Medallion, double shot, $24.99. Uh, Dickie Betts and Great Southern, Atlanta's Burning Down, $19.99. Plastic Land, wonderful, wonderful, wonder, wonderful, wonderland. Plastic Land is... $19.99. We've got Jeff Beck Flash, $19.99. Jeff Beck and the Yardbirds, Shapes of Things, that is $19.99. Generation X, I knew I saw that in one of these crates. Generation X, Young Billy Idol, $29.99, or one of Billy Idol's bands. I think this is pre-solo career. Yeah, $78. Uh, the Uniques. Now, the Uniques is, uh, let's see, $29.99. This is... Um, let me see if I got their names on here. Mickey Newberry, but there's somebody else that's in here. Joe Stampley. Who's the other guy, though? Let's see here. Joe Stampley. Maybe that's who I'm thinking of. I thought John told me there was somebody else in here that I would recognize. I wish I had their names on here. Okay. Uh, Greg, uh, Greg Rogers on uh, Dickie Betts. I think Greg probably wants that one. There's another one in there, though, as well, Greg, if you want that. Steve Gold got Generation X. Yellow cover. Okay. That's the one. I knew. I thought it was you, uh, but yeah. $40 for both of those. Uh, England Dan, John Ford Coley, Dr. Heckle, and Mr. Jive. $9.99. A Very Merry Christmas, Volume 3. $6.99. Greg says, show me. Okay, there was two Dickie Betts albums in here. Uh, I've got you down for Atlanta's Burning, but I also have Great, or that one's just self-titled. Dickie Betts and Great Southern, Atlanta's Burning Down. So there's two there. You can let me know which of those two you want. I'll lay it right here on top of Cherry Pie in the meantime. Ah, Eric Clapton, 461 Ocean Boulevard. I will be keeping this if no one buys it, because look, it has the hop sticker on it, featuring the hit single, I Shot the Sheriff, $39.99. Really nice copy. In shrink wrap and hop sticker, $39.99.
Eric Clapton, Just One Night, is also $39.99. Rod Stewart, Smiler. Rod Stewart, Smiler is $19.99. Clean copy. And Little Feet, Waiting for Columbus, $24.99. Hot Tuna. This one's called, I think it has a very strange name. Yeah, Hop Corv something. H-O-P-P-K-O-R-V. That is sealed, $19.99. Mike Cochran wants the Christmas album. Uh, Ron Phillips on Little Feet. Sell that to Ron Phillips. Fantastic live album. Did one of them come with a poster originally? Uh, that, not to my knowledge, this one has an inner sleeve. And uh, I don't see, there's no poster in either one of these, but that doesn't mean it didn't actually have one. So, uh, Carol Seeley wants tuna. Did I get Boyce and Hart? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Eric Carmen, this is also in shrink wrap, all by myself. Uh, $12.99. We have Jack Bruce uh, has a promo sticker. Promotional DJ copy, mono, not for sale. White label promo, $34.99. It's a white label promo. Ginger Baker's Air Force, that's what I was looking for. Ginger Baker's Air Force. White label promo, $34.99. Sonny and Cher's Greatest Hits, that's a 2LP, $22.99. Jethro Tull, War Child. 1999 and Jeff Beck blow by blow nice copy and shrink wrap that is 1999 John Young takes the ginger baker Greg says he will give 35 for both uh Dickie Betts uh sell those to him for $35 both Dickie Betts out for $35 John Young got ginger baker that was the conclusion of that crate I'll go back through them one more time if anybody wants these accept albums uh, $40 for both of them, or if you want either one, you can claim that too. Whoever's first, I'll let you pick whatever you want. You can buy both for 40 or you can pick either one for 20 Nathan Myers wants both of them for 40 All right, those are sold to Nathan. Let's go back through these one more time. Moon Rider, if you need prices, let me know. Grippo Sportivo, Carly Simon, Lines and Ghost, Elvin Bishop, Klaatu, the Five Man Electrical Band, Bangor Flying Circus, Tangerine Dream Soundtrack to Sorcerer, Poco Average White Band, The Beatles White Album. I'm actually going to leave that out. I'm trying to get all of our Beatles albums together. So far, I have filled up an entire crate of Beatles and solo artists and Beatles related albums, and that's just in the last couple nights. Uh, Jeff Beck, Rough and Ready, Poco, Poco. If anybody wants a three piece Poco deal, I will do that. Uh, the songs on cruising is the Olympics, Hully Gully, Big J McNeely, There's Something on Your Mind, Since I Don't Have You, The Skyliners, Almost Grown, Chuck Berry, What a Difference a Day Makes, Dinah Washington, Say Man, Bo Diddley, Sixteen Candles, The Crest, Personality, Lloyd Price, It's Just a Matter of Time, Brooke Benton, Sea of Love, Phil Phillips, I Only Have Eyes for You, The Flamingos in Kansas City, Wilbert Harrison. That is $14.99. Also has all those commercials on it. Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, Henry Gross, Swingin' Medallion, Plastic Land, Jeff Beck, Jeff Beck, The Uniques, uh, England Ann, John Ford Coley, Clapton, Eric Clapton, Rod Stewart, Eric Carmen, Sonny and Cher, Jethro Tull, and Jeff Beck, Blow by Blow. Sean says he will give $9.99 for Cycles. I think we had one of those in the discount bins already this week. Sell that to Sean for $9.99. Anybody else want anything in there? Anybody else want anything in there? First go around. All right, here's what we're going to do. We hadn't took a break all week. I'm going to stop because I'm going to... <laughs> Seth is over here. He's... Seth, please remain calm. It's... You can't keep Seth working too long. He gets cranky and, you know, it's just, it gets bad. Klaatu is $19.99. It's in shrink wrap. It's a perfect copy. So, yeah, we're going to stop. What we're going to do is come back at 1030 and then we'll probably go another hour or a little bit longer. Uh, and I'll, I've got another bin of new arrivals and then we'll go back through some more. Uh, I've got more. I've got another $7 crate. I got another $7 crate. So, 
uh, how many warrants are you down to? I really don't know. Uh, after tonight, or probably during the break, I will find out because we need to sell another 10 or so. Um, a great price. So let's stop there. 10 till 10. We'll be back at 10.30. We'll at least go to 11.30 when we come back. And uh, we may, I don't know, we hadn't done, we hadn't gone any later than 11.30 this week. But if we need to, let me know. Zeppelin box set. Uh, Cameron, do you need me to show those now or do you want me to do it during part two? Somebody else asked earlier too. Uh, and I've got Led Zeppelin 3, Led Zeppelin 4, House of the Holy, BBC Sessions, Coda, Song Remains the Same, and How the West Was Won. Was there a band on the run? Yeah, I'll recap New Vinyl too. We had band on the run on white vinyl. I don't think anybody bought it. Let me see what we have here. Uh, Purgatory. Did somebody buy Band on the Run? They may have. Let's see. If not, it's right. No. Yeah, we. I think we sold that. It was on white vinyl. How much? Uh, oh yeah, I showed that one earlier. It was uh, two fourteen ninety nine, and I said I would do one ninety nine ninety nine on them. Uh, Super Deluxe. This is the four LP. This is the big expanded version. Four LPs, three CDs, DVD lithograph, hardcover book. That's what's cool about these. They all include a book and Cameron Ants had sold. Let's give Cameron the one still in the shipping box. Does anybody else want one of these? $199.99. Awesome Zeppelin live box. Let's, sold, uh, let's sell Stereo Clatu for $15. Greg, if you want on the waiting list for Band on the Run, it looks like we sold that. We did. Our new arrivals were Fleetwood Mac, The Cure, Tyler Childers, Blink-182, Fallout Boy, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, and Iron Maiden. That was some of our new ones. Nathan Myers also wants How the West Was Won. All right, so there's two. Let me just hand these to you then. I'm down to one copy of How the West Was Won, $199.99. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I also have BBC Sessions, same price, same super deluxe packaging. If you don't have BBC Sessions, let me show that very, very quickly. You need a BBC Sessions. It's just as good, if not better, than How the West Was Won. Three, this is also a three CD. By the way, this is an expanded, so there's a lot of stuff on here that wasn't originally on the CD. Five LPs, 44-page book, art print, download card, uh, two CDs, DVD with a surround mix. Awesome book. It's... Uh, it was $214, also now $199. There's a... A lesser version that's cheaper. Those are not in stock. I, I feel like if you're going to go ahead and buy something like this, just get the biggest one. You know, it has everything with it. That way you're not missing anything. It's also $199.99. But if for some reason you may not want to get one this week, I've got a bunch of these. I did a YouTube video where I opened this and unboxed it. And when I did that, I sold like five or six of them. Uh, when people really saw the contents. If you get on our YouTube channel, uh, anybody that's watching on YouTube, you can click Collect Co. right now, go through our videos. There's a video of me unboxing this, and you can see all the contents, how nice it is. And then if you decide you want one, let me know. There's probably a link in the description to our website that's probably no longer active because we don't even have that URL anymore. I got to update all that. I got to go through all of our old videos and update the descriptions. Okay, we'll be back at 10.30. I think I'm going to head down to Taco Bell. It doesn't look like the Titans are going to pull this off, so I don't think anybody's surprised. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be back uh, at 10.30 Central Time.